Alright. Alright, alright. Man, the way the way that I'm s <laughs> that I'm doing this quest on a live stream just so that I will do it. Unbelievable. I have been putting this mission on a hold since I finished Bella Block. I don't even know why. I need I need to unlock the calyx that is nearby here for Servo's uh, relics. But I have just not been doing it for whatever reason. Dun, 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 dun. Well, but now since Kafka will be coming, oh, Kafka will be coming up soon. I feel like I should just do it now. <laughs> I I wonder if I'm gonna see more of Kafka in game within the quest because she did show up in the Astral Express. <laughs> Also, this is the first time I'm using the English voiceover for this game because, because, just in case that Kafka shows up again, I want to hear her in the English voice because I loved the VA's voice when, when she was on the live stream. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. I'm just gonna do it, I guess. Let me see. Amidst the Mara struck, upon arriving at Shanzolofu, only an empty port welcomes the express. Kafka claims that a Stellaron had descended here and that the place is on the brink of catastrophe. The closed port in front of you seems to confirm what she said. A trailblazer would need to investigate carefully to understand what had happened here. Hmm. Right, is it that thing? That that purple orb? Is that the is that the Stellaron? It's contained. Hmm. Yeah. That's just good. Mr. Yang, someone's hurt! Oh, where are these people? Up, up ahead. Cloud Knight soldier. You're hurt, son. Uh, try not to talk. March, use your six-phased ice to stop the bleeding. Go easy. We don't want to add frostbite to his list of complaints. Frostbite? Oh, frostbite's because... Because... March 7th. I'm on it! This area saw fierce fighting only recently. Hmm. Let's keep searching. There might be other survivors. Sure. Up ahead. Please. Up ahead. Leave me. Oh, what is this? Is it chess? Oh, they look different than the one in Bellabog. They customize it based on the planet? That's crazy. Why oh, is really it? Everywhere. 
The silver lining is that, based on what we can see, no civilians were caught up in the battle. Mm. I'm guessing the Sienjo must have evacuated the port immediately, leaving the soldiers to deal with the crisis. But as for these uh, corroded monsters... Oh, well, it sounds like that in English. Wait, I knew that. I, I heard him in the live stream. <laughs> He's really an old man. Hello? Are you okay? Please. seen this kind of life form before. Yo, what is that? Awaiting orders, Miss. Pretty good crowd today. <laughs> Lance of the ready. <laughs> Fighting is meaningless. What? Did, did that thing just revive itself? This song's for you. Let's rock. Let me tend your wounds. Pretty good crowd today. Hold on. Keep up. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Okay, okay. Okay, turn on the volume a little bit. It's really tricky trying to balance how loud the music from the game should be in comparison to my voice. Miss Tingyun, fall back! Oh, Tingyun. Mara struck. We've already lost them. Hey, you there? We need your help. Who said that? Stingyun? Thanks for saving beauty from the beast. Thanks for saving pleasure. <laughs> but are you thanking us or giving yourself a compliment? <laughs> March 7th just flirting with him. I'm on guard. Wait, wait. How? Do I do I have to? I don't even know. Whatever. Keep up. No way. Lance ablaze. Wait. You really just revive me? What's illegal? Oh my god. Uh -oh. <laughs> 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 
at least they're not as difficult as Mr. the enemies Mune, in the simulated the Mara universe. Have been repelled, but, but there could be other dangers nearby. The situation is serious. Allow us to escort you back to the Skyfaring Commission immediately. Do I have to adjust the volume in the streaming application instead? Mm. Like that? Maybe. Tricky. Calm down, I heard you. It'd be rude of me to depart without thanking our benefactors. My name is Ting Yu. I'm the Amicassador for the Lawfu Skyfaring Commission Merchant Guild. May I venture to know Amicassador. the illustrious names of my heroes? Lawfu Skyfaring Commission. Illustrious names? Uh, sure. I'm March 7th. This is Mr. Yang. Oh, Mr. Welt Yang. And this is... <laughs> my name's a secret. Oh, <laughs> Miss Secret. Uh, don't mind her. She likes to get a little creative with her introductions. Trying to avoid ending up on another wanted list. Uh, next time, why not remind me before I give up my name? I see. Well, thank you for coming to our aid. Although, there is one thing I don't understand. Starskiff Haven is under lockdown, since none of you are Sienjo residents. May I ask how you came to be here? Well, somebody allowed us in. Um, you know, some unknown voice. If you can't offer an explanation, I'm afraid <gasps> these Cloud Knights will have to escape. Some, some, no, out. somebody, somebody allowed us in. We called for port transfer and got no response, but then someone opened the jade gate. Yeah, for exactly us. what when he said. Arrived, there was no one to be found, so we started to make our own way through. How can that be? My ship was the last one into port before the jade gate was shut. Huh? The Skyfaring Commission has already locked down Starskiff Haven entirely. Oh, that's interesting. We're telling the truth. You could verify it yourself by checking the access history of the Jade Gate. We we found a strange ourselves when the gate opened, but no one came to greet us. Mm, who would that be? You were with the Astral Express. Yep. You've heard of us? Indeed, I have. Oh, you've arrived at a bad time. The Sienjo has suffered an incident. Whether you're here for leisure, treatment, or trade, I'm afraid you won't be able to go through with it. Mm. For your safety, you should hurry to Central Starskiff Haven and take refuge. I'll take you to Madame Yukong of the Skyfaring Commission and let her decide how to proceed. We caught wind of the incident you mentioned. That's why we're here, Miss Tingyun, to help the Sienjo seal the Stellaron. Hmm. Caught wind? Or somebody spilled the story to us? <laughs> your actions have already revealed your kind hearts to me. Uh, sadly, I can't make you any promises. You're outsiders, and only Madame Yukong has the authority to consider your offer. Hmm. Oh, don't worry. Madame Yukong is kind-hearted too. Come on now. I'll lead the way. Sure. Hmm. Where are we going? Those monsters back oh. there. Oh shit, what is this? They were oh, those were not to be confused with monsters, benefactors. We call them Mara Struck. 
first colors before you must have come from none other than a specific girl, you know. Ah. Hmm? Oh. Right. Alrighty. Why have we stopped? Don't worry, miss. I have a favor to ask. That's all. Favor? Count me out. What if we do it wrong and you get your cloud cronies to throw us in jail? <laughs> I shouldn't have doubted you. Please accept my apologies. Our road ahead is barricaded. Do you see? The soldiers stationed here must have moved these into a roadblock. <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Yang could clear them out. What? Does he look like a crane to you? I mean... I'd like to see us try. <laughs> They're extremely heavy. Even with all of us, we wouldn't be able to move one. Not that I'm doubting your skill, but I'd feel terrible if you hurt yourself in the process. If I'm not mistaken, the containers in the trove of verdure can be moved around using a control panel. You've already put on quite the show. Do you think you'll be able to find and operate the control panel? Should be simple, right? Sure. Right, why don't you do it? Why don't you do it? Oh, I'm afraid I'm not built for hard labor. <laughs> She's friends with the Emiko. Uh, she sure knows how to boss people around. We just need to pass through here, take the barge to Starskiff Haven, and we'll be safe. Pass through here? Okay. You know, you sound sweet enough, but you were talking about getting us es- Why do they have twice, twice as much um, health, basically? Pretty good crowd today. Keep up. You can fight it or rock with it. It's pretty annoying. How are you reviving? Hello. Said. Let me tend your wounds. I'm on guard. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Reach the end of the story in your own way. What's this? Worksite dispatch. Various fr freight containers are, are placed in the assembly line. Adjust the position of the freight containers to fill gaps in the road or remove obstacles to open new pos Okay. Manual operation can only make minor adjustments to the freight containers on the assembly line. The lights on the control panel indicate the range of the adjustment that can be performed. Alright. I don't understand the thing I just read. But okay. What does it mean? Move to the right. Oh. What is this? Uh oh, just. Oh, it's really through here, huh? Deets, deets. Where, where am I? It's a puzzle. It's crazy. They actually changed the shape of the uh, treasure chests depending on the 
plan it. That's that's a lot of effort. You mentioned the Stellaron. You work for the Skyfaring Commission, so I assume you're aware of its destructive power. Yes, I am. As an Amicassador, I've been to many planets and seen my fair sh- Fair of Stellaron corrosion. <sighs> hmm. I, I missed the entirety of that dialogue. <laughs> Really? This is... This is... Wait, isn't this... Oh my god. <laughs> it's so close by. Hang on, this is so close by. I... Okay, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna... While I'm... While I'm here. with me damn i i thought yeah. i knew it was close but i didn't know it was that close you can fight it or rock with it So great, my friend has Zella. I can just bring her. <laughs> Rely on her. Finally, I can finally farm from this uh, this domain. So great, man. which how to read these relics which one is good which one is bad what should go with what suddenly me farming materials instead of doing the quest although this is kind of like part of the goal to unlock the calyx for servo Again, again, do it again, again. Yeah. 
Oh, hello you! Hello, hello, welcome! I am going for Kafka, yeah. That's that's why I'm finally doing this mission. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Are you going for Kafka? Oh my god, my game just freeze for a moment there. I thought it's gonna crash. Current damage. Is this good? I don't even know. Okay. Okay, that's done. Man, it's so close. Uh, okay, okay. Hmm. I see. So, did you get Silver Wolf when her banner was up last time? To be fair, though, to, I don't. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know Kafka's kid how to play her or like to play this game in general. I just want her because no other reasons. Ah, oh, it's too late. Is that a frog? Fighting is meaningless. The best is yet to come. Oh no, she she got nerfed. That's so bad. Yeah, I guess eventually as we play this game more then we are gonna learn how to how do they work these characters? I definitely like sort of was Japanese voice more. Conflicted. No interesting Fighting is meaningless. Pretty good crowd today. Turn it up. You don't look so good. I'm on guard. Fish? These are fish. No interesting conflict. This song's for you. <laughs> the best is yet to come. Slime of harmony. What was that just now? Reason to not reach your destination, tiny confinement. Be that it is a bit sticky, as if it doesn't want to let you go. Okay. Oh yes, yes. Please do. Please, please add me. 
<laughs> because I don't have... I barely build any of my characters. Every time I do farming, I just bring <laughs> one of my friend's characters. Usually Zella from, from a friend. And she's been carrying the entire farming every single day. Uh, I just sit there. <laughs> Please do, please do add me. Can you see the your ID? Should be should be readable, right? Return to the future. Advertisement for civilian Starcliff launched by Shenzhou Starcliff brand. Blitz. Okay. They really put a lot of effort in designing this game, huh? How is the treasure chest like different? Oh, what is this? Oh, I see. Will of Hello. Pretty good crowd today. Let's rock. Need a doctor? Hey, yeah. Oh. Mara struck. What is Mara? Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it. Or rock with it. Right. I'm on guard. The truth of life is sanctuary. It's but a vision. Break. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Really? I, I have a lot of content. Let me show you. Look. I I have <laughs> none of it done. What 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 I've done is just the Bellobok main quest. And then I just collect all of these missions from the people and not do it. I don't know. Like I do, I do enjoy the jokes and like, and like, uh, the world, the characters, but mm, not so much that I wanna do all the the missions all at once. If that makes sense, I don't know. Maybe I'm just I just don't have the time to do it. Oh, where are you going? Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. I I I I think I have a decent amount of pulls for Kafka, but <laughs> I guess I guess yeah, this is the reason now I'm doing this mission so that I can get more and and then probably also do the other missions as well to get more pulls for Kafka. Why so many enemies? Ah Oh my god. Too late to repent. This song's for oh, I can just auto play it. You can fight it or rock with it. The sanctuary is but a vision. Keep up. Really? They keep ge getting more annoying. Wait, where am I going? Not here. What is this door? 
How are they annoying? Is it the <laughs> constant revival? What's up with that? Where am I going? Why am I going back here? <gasps> Zhongli! Where are you going? Picking up delivery plotting for destination. Waiting for for the pickup to finish. Oh, oh, <laughs> that's cute. Oh my god, that's so cute. Hello. Why <laughs> is that so cute? Where are you going? Okay. Right. <laughs> that is so cute. Where was it? Zhongli Cube. What what is this? It's a space junction device made by a mysterious organization in the artist artisanship commission it attracted almost no notice because it is difficult to understand interact with the hexa nexus to activate and solve the puzzle or to the corresponding area so that the physical block corresponds to the plates on the on both sides i don't even know what that means switch between different faces Rotate. Okay. Rotate. Huh? What? Oh. <laughs> I see. I see. Do I see? But Huh I should have done a jade check before doing this quest. Oh not a lot. Six hundred. 600 how many will i have at the end of this quest if i'm getting to the end of this quest today i don't think so though Yeah, I have been saving up. I have not been using my wishes for for anyone. Okay, I will accept it, the request in a bit. Oh, alright, 
it's not AOE. That's the wrong character to do alt with. That's very annoying. No. Oh, is that so? Four out of eight. See, when I say I'm so stupid at this game, is is legit true. <laughs> oh right. didn't expect Tingyun to sound like that. From her splash art, I thought she'd be more mature, but she's she's really a young lady, huh? Yeah, I thought that was March 7th earlier when I heard her for the first time. I thought it was March talking and then I'm like, huh? <laughs> Why is March re responding to herself? Right. Oh no, stuff like this feels like I'm missing out. But no, no, I no, yeah. English for now. Can we watch somebody playing in Japanese? That's fine, that's fine. We had a difficult start, but things got easier. Look, that's the barge I was talking about. She sounds like a teenager. <laughs> Is this manual or automatic? Brett, all Amacassiters know their way around a star skiff. I was perfectly calm until she volunteered to help. Please take your seats, everyone. We'll be off right away. Undelivered letter. What is that? The author seems to have undergone some experimental experimental treatment. Interesting. Turn the compass to align the inner and outer ring celestial axis to the same direction. The bright as well marks on the compass indicate the degree its compass ring can rotate. To type rotation exists, clockwise counterclockwise. Oh no. What am I doing? <laughs> Looks like these are my tips. What 
What is this? What is these things? Huh. Really? Oh, that's pretty cool. I look forward to seeing more of the tips. Whatever they are. Whatever that might that might be. Whoa. On behalf of the Skyfaring Commission, allow me to welcome you to Starskip Haven. On the Sienjo Lofu, anything relating to aviation, navigation, and trade falls within the scope of the Skyfaring Commission, which is one of the six commissions of the Lofu. As the biggest port on the ship, Starskip Haven is governed by the Skyfaring Commission, too. Okay. You definitely sound like a. Oh, uh, what was it again? Oh, Pammy Cassiter! By which I mean, nice speech. That's too kind of you. My job involves ferrying business delegates to and from Starskip Haven, so I do this kind of introduction all the time. She's a tourist guide. Anyway, we're safe now. Normally I'd be a good host and take you around, but these are difficult times. Let's head to the Palace of Astrum first and report your arrival to Madame Yukon. Palace of Astrum? Right there, the tallest building in the city. It's also the headquarters of the Skyfaring Commission. Let's hurry, we haven't got much time. What's the hurry? Kaya, what's the hurry? I don't mean to rush you, but if Madame Yukong holds me accountable for not getting you over soon enough, I wouldn't want to be around for the consequences. Sounds scary. I thought you said she was kind-hearted. We need to make a few preparations before paying a visit to any of the six commissions. Rest assured, Miss Tingyun, we won't go anywhere. If you can inform Madame Yukong of our arrival first, we'll meet you at the palace entrance later. <laughs> this is why you travel with adult. Remember when we were in Belobok and like, oh, Madame Gokuli wanted to see you and they were like, okay, without thinking twice. Why is she? She's a fox? <laughs> Little Miss Fox moves at quite the pace. Oh, she is a fox. I can't keep up with her. <sighs> I've spent too long on the bench. Let's catch our breath for a while, huh? We can expect a packed schedule ahead. Nice. Let's have a look around the Not city. So fast. No. I need to give you two a heads up first. Our meeting with Madame Yukong won't be without risk. We need to. <laughs> oh, it, it's really is so different than the the meeting with Cocolia. <laughs> we just went in there without thinking, but here, well, it's like we gotta prepare ourselves for the worst. <laughs> Going around the city, nah. -uh. She is a top Sienjo leader. Oh, Mr. Yang, do you think this could be Bellabog all over again? Mmm, <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> Let me guess, they're gonna put us up in a hotel first. No, the Sienjo Alliance is better than that. But Madame Yukong will definitely have a string of difficult questions for us. Why did we choose to come to the Sienjo now? How did we know that the incident is related to a Stellaron? Who leaked their information to us? Careless answers mean distrust and potential hostility, which would make things much harder for us. Huh, crud. One of us is gonna blurt something out or get something wrong, I just know it. And it's gonna be you, March. 
Well, let's let's just be honest with her. Well, sure, we got the tip from Kafka, a wanted criminal. But we're not wanted criminals. We, we are from the Asso Express. We are the good guys, so to say. Yeah, let's just be honest with her. What if she thinks we're with the Stellaron hunters? Never mind the Alliance. Even I don't trust them. Well, Himiko is with the Stellar Hunter. <laughs> She's right. If we're too scripted, it'll sound like we're hiding something. Don't worry. We'll find a way through. Let me do the talking. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so different. What is it? What do you want to ask me? Uh, what are you trying to say? People who help others without thinking of compensation. Oh. A risk during the dangerous trip across the galaxy is rarer than air in vacuum. When the Herobs Dinzo first heard of your reasoning for coming, they thought you were here either to seek immortality or the Stellaron. Seek immortality? Yes, as the home of long life species, countless elixir seekers from all corners of the universe come. Eh, eh, slow down, slow down, you're typing too fast. Current universe come to Shanzhou to re reenact bygone histories and discover the secret of the Shanzhou residence immortality. Huh? There are people living forever here? Apologies, I may have crossed the line. I don't know why I said this. I absolutely trust in your sincerity, benefactor, but the powerful masters are bound to think more than a pawn like me. So please be careful. So it's just a pawn? Hmm. What was that? All oh, right, the friend request. Wow, your silver wolf is already level 80. Crazy. <laughs> I guess that's that's what's gonna happen if you play diligently, unlike me. Knowing that you came from the stellar you came for the stellar on Ting Yun invites everyone to the palace of Astrum for a meeting. Six individuals commissions over city Shanzhou. If you wish to move freely on the low food during these sensitive times, you must obtain the approval of the head of Sky Affairing Commission, Yu Kong. Hmm. In charge of transport and diplomacy. Okay. Kafka, look at her. Oh my god. Uh oh. Whoa, they're here. They are wanted. Wow. We're gonna be very honest and exposed that we got the information for Ka from Kafka? No, we're gonna be in danger. We're gonna be in danger. We are gonna be in danger. Where is this? Why is it blinking? I cannot interact with it. I'm just glad that now I'm already doing this quest, so now I can start farming for Serval's relics. <laughs> this has been using the proper ones. No, no proper lightning damage bonus or whatever but now i can oh 
this place is beautiful. Okay, sorry, sorry. Sorry to keep you waiting. Madam Yukong is expecting you. Are you not coming? I've brought the Madam Helm Master up to speed. It's over to you now. She's not coming. It's giving Depart energy. Report the losses to General Jing Yuan and find someone from the Divination Commission. Damn. You can't just stand there watching while we deal with this mess. Greetings, guests from the Astral Express. <gasps> Whoa. Wow. Ting Yun has informed me of the purpose of your visit. Receiving guests isn't normally one of my responsibilities. Oh, well, she is, Madame Yukong. But since you know about the Stellaron and have stated that you want to help the lawful, I thought I should at least meet you in person and politely decline your proposal. De decline? The Sienjo Alliance knows what a Stellaron is, and is more than capable of handling it ourselves. We have been around for over 8,000 years, and weathered countless dangers and crises. While the situation is serious, we have more than enough resources to spare. Outsider help is not needed on this occasion. Mm. They're proud, I see. You don't need help. You are guests from afar. There is no reason for this matter to concern you. Am I making myself clear? Very clear, ma'am. Very clear. From what we've gathered, the influence of the Stellaron can still be contained. If we can locate it in time and contain it, it's possible that we can restore any space and any individuals affected by the corrosion. We have experience in preventing Stellaron disasters, and we've only come here to lend you that experience. I've said this and I'll say it again. This is an internal affair of the Sienjo Alliance, and there is no need for the Astral Express to get involved. I decided to arrange a meeting with you as a gesture of respect, but my decision is final. Oh man, she's gonna be so humbled by the end of this quest, isn't she? <laughs> uh, but never mind, Mr. Yang. If the Sanjo Alliance say they can handle it, then we're wasting our breath. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. I opened the calyx already. I'm afraid that's fine. That's <laughs> huh? And what's that supposed to mean? You're gonna imprison us? It's only been a few days since the presence of a Stellaron was detected on the Law Fool. Starskip Haven has been under full lockdown. No one has been permitted to leave. How did you come to know of the incident? And what led you to wow. conclude that it was linked to a Stellaron? Wow, this is giving COVID energy. The fact is Lofu is based on China too? Well, I shouldn't be laughing, but it's funny. They're so meta. 
acquired the access history of Starscape Haven. Not long ago, someone hacked into the system and opened the Jade Gate, before guiding you, the Astral Express, into our territory. Oh. The hacker was Somebody from the inside. And taunted us with her seal. Her name is Silverwolf. Oh. <laughs> a member of the Stellaron Hunters. I see. I see. I sh yeah. Should have guessed. I should have guessed. Of course you'd do that. Of course Kafka would, would like ask Silverwolf to hack the system for us to get in because she knew the situation that there's no way we're gonna get in. Makes sense. Makes sense. Okay. What say you in your defense? Um This well they told her they told us to come here actually you are forbidden from leaving the skyfaring commission until the aforementioned questions have been investigated don't be too harsh you Kong. if this gets out the whole galaxy will think the alliance has forgotten how to treat our guests general jing yuan it's very unlikely that the Express has joined forces with the Stellaron Hunters. They are mortal enemies, after all. Apologies for interrupting your meeting. My name is Jing Yuan. I'm the General of the Cloud Knights here on the Law Fu. Mm -hmm. General, this is an internal affair for the Law Fu. I fully agree with you, Helm Master Yu Kong. This is indeed an internal affair. I am sorry, guests of the Astral Express. It is true that there is a Stellaron on the Lofu, but I'm afraid I cannot accept your kind offer to help resolve the issue. This is a Xianzhou matter, and it is our responsibility to handle it. Well, the difference in the, the amount of skin shown by these two characters. I mean, I'm not complaining, but yeah, the difference. <laughs> it's funny. Of course. It would be inappropriate of me to let you return without something to show for it. While I cannot accept your help with regard to the Stellaron, I do have a favor to ask. Please, after you. Hmm. <sighs> the Astral Express. I must confess that the train's reputation precedes it, such that it is often close to my thoughts. How delightful to come face to face with its passengers. <laughs> Are you really a general? Hmm. Would that would that this occasion had come it's sooner? It's an honor to meet you, General. Uh, may I ask what the favor you spoke of is? Ah, uh, a matter that requires capable people such as yourselves. We captured a member of the Stellaron Hunters a few days ago. Who goes by the name of Blade. Okay. During our investigation, the Divination Commission, the department in charge of intelligence processing, intercepted a transmission sent out by his accomplice, Kafka, who has managed to hide aboard the ship. As for where that transmission was destined... Hmm. Yeah. You and I know where it went. Go on. I have some knowledge of your relationship with the Stellaron Hunters. The Divination Commission is convinced that you made an alliance with them. <laughs> I say that's impossible. The crew of the Astral Express are honorable people whose valiant deeds are lauded across the universe. There must have been a misunderstanding. As such, I came to the conclusion that the communication must have been an attempt by the Stellaron Hunters to sow dissent between us. We can handle the Stellaron, but it will take time and will require the bulk of the Cloud Knights on the ship. It is this Kafka that concerns me. The longer she stays on the ship, the bigger the threat she will pose. 
I feel like I feel like he's just saying that. He's just saying that. Nah, Kafka is just trying to frame you as our enemies. But I know you're not. You have good reputation. Like he's baiting us to spill the truth, or wait until us. You know, until we slip. Hmm. Since the Stellaron hunters lured you to our ship, we shall move with the current. You are hereby authorized to do as you deem fit on the Lofu, with the goal of bringing Kafka out of the shadows and under our control. Why do you want to control her? Doing so would clear the misunderstanding between us, reveal the true intentions of the Stellaron hunters, and help us understand their connection to the Stellaron Burst. What say you, my astral guests? Hmm. What do you think? Hmm. Yeah, it's not like we have a choice. They don't want help with the Stellaron. What else can we do? <laughs> of course you do. You can be strangers and simply walk away. But I feel you wish to help the Sienjo. <laughs> He's low-key manipulating us. What's going on? Lofu never fails to reward that which is given. Okay. Wonderful. It's a deal then. I shall notify Yu Kong that all intel is to be shared with you, and that our best personnel are to aid you in your search. If there is anything the Skyfaring Commission or the Cloud Knights can do for you during your stay, don't hesitate to make it known. Hmm. Nah. Nah. I've heard of you. The Alliance is very interested in the Astral Express. About Blade. Blade is wanted by both the Corporation and the Alliance. I'm afraid I cannot comment on his file. About Kafka. There are five known members of the Stellaron Hunters. Elio is their leader. But always stays behind the scenes. Most of the operations are led by Kafka. Had the Divination Commission not intercepted her encrypted transmission, she would have remained undetected for much longer. Once we catch the Celeron Hunter, bring her to us. Hmm. Yeah, she won't say anything though. Ordinary means may prove futile when it comes to this individual. But the Divination Commission has ways of. <laughs> Don't misunderstand me. The Sienjo does not engage in torture. Achieving intel does not necessarily involve the use of violence. Sure, like we would believe you. In any case, you can deliver her directly to us. Once we learn something. I will share every piece of information with you. <laughs> it's crazy how it's it's harder for me to believe him than to believe Kafka. I'm just a clown, I guess. Don't have any more questions. I would love to find the time to sit with all of you and hear about your experiences among the stars. My responsibilities to the Sienjo have meant that I haven't had the chance to travel in many years. We had heard nothing of the Express for a long time. It is heartening to learn of its continued journey along that starward track. I have other matters to attend to. Goodbye for now. Okay, bye. Projection sand pit. Hmm. 
dendro hmm. oh right welt sorry i think we only i don't know about strange but my gut tells me something is off That's it. A minor detail, but curious. He avoided talking about Blade. Mm -mm. Since the Cloud Knights have already captured a Stellaron Hunter, why not use him to get to Kafka? Why rely on us? Yeah, that's true. He said they could just extract information with whatever means necessary, then... Technically, he could have got Blade to talk. Jing Yuan is the sus one here. He's very sus. The CN Joe is reluctant to involve outsiders in the Stellaron disaster. So why is it so keen on letting us capture a Stellaron hunter? Could Blade have his keep? No, he's using us as bait. Yes. Only sensible conclusion I can draw is that Blade had already escaped when Jing Yuan spoke to us, provided they even captured him in the first place. Therefore, given our connection to Kafka, we represent the only way of luring the Stellaron hunters in. Oh, to be the bait to lure Kafka in. That's exactly what we are. <laughs> That's why he asked for our help. He didn't want to let anyone else find out that Blade had already escaped. Now that we've figured that out, perhaps we can get closer to the core of what's happening here. What's that? Life in the workplace. Seeing as the General gave the order, the Skyfaring Commission will lend you our full support. The Stellaron Hunter investigation is in your hands now. I'll issue you a pass so you can access the facilities around Starskip Haven. Damn, I, I love her voice. As for personnel, the Skyports are currently all under maintenance, so we're thinly stretched. What I can do is send Ting Yun as your guide. She'll take care of you during your stay. Okay. Jail Kong Plow Six is overloaded. Please have people evacuated to other docks. And March is here. What do you make of this, Chung Yuan? He sus. You think everyone's suspicious, though they do say some <laughs> girls have a sixth sense. <laughs> easier to talk to than that Yukong. Their attitudes are so different. Maybe that's why she's only a helm master and he's a general. I don't know what to say to that. Where's... Oh, right. Dunhong is not coming with us. I forgot. Master Diviner, you heard our discussion. What do you make of it? What do I make of it? The way of heaven is apparent, but the Fushun. heart of humanity is often deceptive. Are you asking me to divine their true intentions? That won't be necessary. The crew has nothing to do with the incident. Of that, I am almost certain. It isn't their intentions that trouble me. All I want is for them to lure out the one we're after. And what if we die? What if we die in the process of luring Kafka? You're gonna protect us? What are you gonna do? Wasn't that my idea, General? Indeed. Your counsel has always been a great help to me. You may use your discretion on the matters ahead of us. Ah, you know what they say. Behind every great man, <laughs> there's a woman. <laughs> Discretion full time. Wow. 
purple girl no pink girl purple pink what is she <laughs> it is still too soon unfortunately if something goes wrong you'll need a general to take the blame how could i simply walk away and put you at such risk if you'd brought me that blade earlier none of this would have been necessary wait what are you up to exactly mm, pink yeah Jingyuan, did you let him escape on purpose <gasps> he really escape me <laughs> i had no idea he might escape unlike you my gaze never travels beyond the horizon i take full responsibility the cloud knights failed in their duty you sound to relax for somebody who you know who had a criminal escape i can understand there's a lot to take care of on a sinjo you are bound to miss something thank goodness i'm here on that note Perhaps it's about time you finally nominate me as your successor when the six charioteers next convene. Yes, yes, yes. I have to go now. I'll leave this in your overwhelmingly capable hands, Wu Shen. <sighs> there are three things in the world that I can't seem to rid myself of. The troubles of the Sienjo, the papers on my desk, and the weeds in my garden. The weeds in your general, garden. Diviner Fu wants the general's position for herself. Everyone knows that. She is very capable, but her intellect is burdened by a quick temper. I'll retire when she's achieved a better balance. This Stellaron thing is easy. Blade escaped. Now we gotta go get him. Just say the word, and I'll solve this in a flash. I can understand your impatience, and I know you want to prove yourself. Now is not the time. If you truly wish to become sword champion, you shouldn't be running around brandishing your sword at people, especially not a major criminal. You think I'd lose to Blade? You I'm definitely would. You need to have patience, Yan Ching. Governing Xianzhou is different from a sword fight. The only way to build momentum is to work slowly. Besides, we still don't know who's really moving the chess pieces. There is something we must take care of before making our next move. As long as it remains unresolved, we're in a stalemate. That something is the Stellaron. How did it manage to bypass the Skyfaring Commission's inspections and the Divination Commission's predictions? Where is it now? I say we bring those two Stellaron hunters before Diviner Fu. She'll get an answer out of them in no time. I've asked our friends from the Express to take care of that for us. Worry not, you'll have your moment when the current stalemate is broken. You are my most trusted aide. And there are some things that I would only assign to you. Oh no, <laughs> he Speaking left. Speaking of which, Yang Ching. <laughs> <laughs> no, Yang Ching's like, I'm tired of this old man shit. <laughs> that boy. <laughs> I really just love like that. I suppose it is my fault. I immediately I like him. him. An opportunity already. A sharp sword can't stay sheathed forever. My fear is that this might prove too big a setback. Bigger than his exuberance. Um. Huh? I'm out. Where? to look after you yep she did seems like we were destined to be in each other's company the skyfaring commission has reserved rooms for you at the petrichor inn when you finish your business here how about some tea together <laughs> a hotel again easy i know this probably brings back bad memories
Wait, where? Ready for a nap? That's not like you, March. Hey, that's not fair. My eyes are peeled this time. I'll make a run for it the second things go wrong. Uh, jokes aside, did you see Madame Yukong frown at us? I thought her guards were about to jump out of nowhere and throw us in jail. Oh, I'd rather deal with monsters than these big shots. I mean, not that Madame Yukong doesn't have her merits. <laughs> Don't worry, my lips are sealed. But as her subordinate, I have to say that it's Madame Yukong's duty to keep her guard up. The Law Fu is facing a crisis, and as head of the Sky Faring Commission, she is responsible for the security of the Sienjo's customs and borders. She's actually a very reasonable old girl in private. Reasonable? Uh, are we are we thinking of the same person? They say that many years ago, Madame Yukong was an ace pilot in the Cloud Knights. She was a work hard, play harder type, known for her hot temper and incredible skill. Eventually, she became the head of the entire commission, which required her to learn patience and adopt a meticulous approach to her work. In any case. Madame Yukong instructed me to reserve the best rooms at the inn and have all your expenses covered. She wants to extend the full courtesy of the Sienjo so that all of you enjoy your stay to the fullest. She specifically mentioned that if you wish to buy anything at the inn, be it food or otherwise, just let the innkeeper know. The commission will cover the cost. <laughs> oh, March. Her face. Uh, say thanks to Madame Yukon for us. Why don't you go back yourself? <clears throat> what? Seeing as our hosts are so thoughtful, I guess we should help ourselves, right, Mr. Yang? We should focus on our objective first. Seeing as Hellmaster <laughs> Yukon was extremely reluctant to get us involved. Am I right to speculate that the Skyfaring Commission has some leads on the whereabouts of Kafka? Exactly right. The suspect is extremely cunning. She encrypted her transmission and timed her communication. We couldn't pinpoint her exact location. Damn, she was really risking it all trying to contact us on the Express last time, huh? But as cunning as she is, the Divination Commission has managed to find something. Uh oh. Our destinations may differ, but the orbits of the stars will eventually converge. See you later. Mm, there's is there anything special about what she said? Don't let her words distract you. That's the sound of a device. Uh which means what exactly? This is a starship. There are all kinds of devices making weird noises. Miss March, to the untrained ear, these noises may sound the same, but for the craftsmen of the Artisanship Commission, every machine has a different pitch and melody. The General sent for craftsmen, and they concluded that the sound came from the shipyard facilities in Stargazer Navalia. Really? You can tell from that? That's pretty impressive. Operation ahead. I look forward to seeing you in action. Okay. Let's take advantage of the rest. 
It won't be easy to track down Kafka the Stellaron Hunter. Oh, let's let the Express know how we're doing. More importantly, let's see how Don Hung's doing. <laughs> Ask him what he's up to. <laughs> then tell him we're having loads of fun. Yeah, let's text Don Hung. Fail to send? We cannot send messages out? Oh. Oh shit. You've been standing here for half an hour. It's rare to see you like this. He may go. Are you worried about those two who else is with them they should be fine she sounds so soft himiko did you keep a copy of the stellaron hunter's transmission can i have a look sure not to mention 45 system hours ago a stellaron burst occurred on the lafu an unexpected calamity, don't you think? Wow, why does she sounds like that? What exactly are you still around hunters trying to do? Because the Cienjo Alliance aren't us. They won't give you time to explain. Once you draw the attention of the hunt, you become their prey. The Alliance will hunt you to the end of the universe. So true. She's she's a she's a yeah. She's a mommy. Oh my god. I almost destroyed my earphones. <laughs> the hunt. The Lan is the the god, the eon. I especially love Himeko's and Kafka's interaction. It's really, it's very entertaining how quickly Himeko turned away the moment Kafka showed up. <laughs> I enjoyed it. It's simple. That Stellaron has nothing to do with us, but the Sienjo is convinced that we're responsible. Oh my god, without seeing her face, it sounds like you are on a phone call with your girlfriend in the middle of the night and it's just like listening to your girlfriend's voice like a pillow talk and like you're falling asleep to the sound of her voice. That's crazy. Hello? This is illegal, it's a crime. Stop. Huh? Do you know him? Oh. Right. He wasn't there. The Sancho is in danger. This man, he... If he's on the ship, then Welt March and her... Everyone is in grave danger. But... Is he... Connected to that past you want to escape? I... I can't leave them down there. It's just... I'm afraid my burden has finally caught up with me. And that everyone is about to be drawn in. Is there anyone who doesn't carry around a past burden? She may not remember it, but even a girl as carefree as March has hers. We tread on a path that is hidden from us. The things we see and the trails we blaze all become our baggage. They weigh us down, but they also give us strength to continue the journey. Try not to dwell on it, Don Hung. The Express spends seven standard days at each stop. Its passengers are allowed to do as they deem fit during that time. Pom Pom and I are more than capable of looking after the Express. Mm. If there's something you've got to do, do it now better than regretting it further down the line
And you'll come back and travel with us once this is all over, right? Ooh. What is this foreshadowing? I don't like it. Uh-uh. No, uh, -uh. Some, s last time somebody was shown like their eyes hidden like that, Kokolia, she was lying to us. I don't I don't like this. If there's something you've got to do, do it now. Better than regretting it further down the line. Wait. Why can't we send messages? Send message out. The network is down. But some functions still work. Virtually nothing has changed since I left. Apart from darkness, this place is all that I remember of the lost world. Maybe it's just my brain, but I never really thought of it much, but Dan Hung. <laughs> That's a Chinese name. Of course, it's from Lo Fu. Too late to repent. Hmm. I wonder why you hate the hunt. Fighting is I guess I will find out. Where are we, by the way? Oh. Shattered Cloud Knight armor. A conflict with the Cloud Knights? Mm, not likely. Mr. Yang wouldn't let that happen. Oh, he's the guy with the coffin. Who is this girl? I know her. Sushang. Yeah. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Ow, ow. What is that symbol? What does she do? <laughs> Gigantic chicken. Fighting is meaningless. Let me stop here, and I'm going anywhere. You're hurt. No interest. It's okay. Phew. <laughs> this one's strong, all right. Wanna see what I can do? Oh, oh no, she's dying. Oh my god. <gasps> With you two risking your lives for me, could I really stay where I am? Well, he's a very nicely dressed gentleman. Try to hear Su Shang's voice line. The bird's voice line. Oh, you gotta fill it up first. You received divinity. Don't worry about me. Eternal the dead return. <laughs> Fighting is meaningless. Take this. Shape of Taishu. Shape of what? I didn't catch that at all. <laughs> the truth of life and death. 
revealed in an instant. The sanctuary is but a vision. No more playing nice. We're not going anywhere. Are you two okay? Oh, his outfit is... Wow. Nicely dressed man. Hmm. Very cool. Ben, I'm Sushong of the Cloud Knights. I was just transferred here from the Yaoqing. I did tell you to let me handle it. I don't have eyes in the back of my head. What if I accidentally hit you? You were dying, ma'am. Forgive me, miss, but you were too busy being hit yourself. <laughs> exactly. It's a good thing I joined the fray. <laughs> I was protecting you more like. It's a Cloud Knight's job to protect others. And this area is under martial law. I'm escorting all civilians to safety. Follow me. Hmm. Is this the voice line also in the character, like in Genshin? I think I have her. I can check it out. That was some impressive Cloud Knight Spearmanship. Which unit are you from? Cloud Knight Spearmanship. Oh. Huh. Okay. You're a civilian then. Come with me. Miss Sushang, what exactly has transpired here? In all my trade visits, I've never seen Starskiff Haven in such a state. I, uh, I can't comment on that. I was just ordered to rescue the civilians. Actually, I have no idea either. Anyway, you two just need to come with me. But you're pretty quiet. What's your name? I've got forms to fill out. Can't put your name down, it's blank. Why her voice sounds familiar? My name is Dan Hung. I'm a traveler. I'm on my way to meet up with my friends. I appreciate the help, but I can leave the port on my own. No can do, mister. It's way too late. You won't find anyone at Starskip Haven. If your friends made it out, then they'll already be in the safe zone. No need to worry. We'll see them when we get there. Aren't you going to take my name too, miss? <laughs> you already said it when we were busy fighting. La... something... Lo Cha! Lo Cha! I remember it. Let's go. Stay close, you two. Lo Cha. Not Lo Ka. Who said his name was Lo Ka? Where's the coffin? It disappeared. Uh, one more thing. I need you to write your names down later. I don't know too many characters. I might make a mistake. Message not sent? Why not? Hmm. I don't know. Long range communication technology is still improving. Perhaps the presence of the Stellaron is affecting signal transmission. Can be. It doesn't seem like it. Everything else is working fine. See? In that case, it looks like someone wants to make things difficult for us. Since Kafka's here, I wouldn't be surprised if this turns out to be that Stellaron Hunter Hacker Girl's handiwork. Hmm, the hound chases the fox. After analyzing the intercepted message, the Skyfaring Commission has found some clues about Kafka's whereabouts. As for you all, you will begin the hunt for Kafka, the Stellar Hunter with unpredictable movements. How long is this? Uh, oh. This mission is... Ah, I'm already on the fourth submission.
I mean, like, even if, like, he blames Silverwolf, we'll be like, yeah, that's my baddest girl right there. <laughs> right? Wow, all these people, they're like, they're foxes. Why is everyone a fox? Oh, you arrived. We never left. <laughs> Seems like you're not particularly happy to see us. <laughs> I like your sense of humor, benefactors. Of course I'm happy to see you. When things settle down, I might even get promoted for catching a Stellaron hunter. Stargazer Nivolta Get that back, girl. by the Artisanship Commission. It took me a while to sort out our paperwork. I got a sense of the situation on my way back. Just like at Cloudford, Stargazer Navalia's Meridian Pin has malfunctioned. The checkpoint there is abandoned, and the garrison is scrambling to locate the Stellaron. With monsters wreaking havoc and the night scattered, Stargazer Navalia has become a perfect place for the suspect to hide out. So we've got a bunch of monsters to deal with, an IPC most wanted Stellaron hunter to catch, and we have to do all that on our own without reinforcements? Well, fair enough. This isn't our first rodeo. That's just what we do every day. <laughs> That's the trailblazing life for ya. I wouldn't say you're entirely on your own. <laughs> When you're ready, let's get going. Go where? Well, is it really that long? My my manager in the office, <laughs> he also played this game, right? And before 1.1 1 .1, uh, was released, he said he already finished the quest. Like, like just a few days after the initial release of patch 1.0 i'm like how <laughs> i guess he just did it all in one go or something skip everything why am i already at the f already at the force submission mm, might need to we'll see i'll see after this where where they're taking us then might need to stop soon. Shall we, my benefactors? Let's go. Wherever we're going. Now what's a hunt without a hound? Kafka is still at large, and the Skyfaring Commission wants this problem to go away. I made a few calls and managed to procure this from the Artisanship Commission. Perfect for hunting down suspects. <gasps> Cute. I see. There are longer submissions down below. Hmm. <laughs> Her face. <laughs> uh, I mean, what can he do exactly? Are we gonna set him loose on Kafka? No. Yes, eh? No. This is Deeting, a bionic dog developed by it's the Artisanship dog? Commission. He has all the five senses of the Foxian race and takes them to another level. Be it tracks or scent, as long as he uncovers a trace, he'll follow it all the way to the end. All we need to do is look for any trace left by Kafka. It doesn't matter how good she is at hiding, Deeting will find her. Then, then the thing gotta be start sniffing the main character. We were something Kafka left behind. No. But before we get started, let's play with his settings a bit and get him ready. To begin with, let's set him to scent detection mode. Tell the thing to follow the scent of my perfume and see what he can do. I oh, know we're training a dog now. Use its locality probe feature to find suspicious odors and traces. Oh, it's so cute! The, the, tra the target. Oh, we need to follow these sparkly traces to find Miss Ting Yoon, 
right? <coughs> this is that's for sure. Playing hide and seek with us while Kafka's still at large. <laughs> This is like vision, elemental sight. The traces. Where did they go? Is D Ching malfunctioning? Oh. Got it. He says the wind is too strong here at the port, so it's not easy to follow the scent. How do you know what he's saying? Bond between cute girls and cute puppies. <laughs> okay. Using the environment to hide her traces. Our girl from the Skyfaring Commission sure knows how to put up a challenge. Let's look around and see if we can find any other clues. Or we could ask around. Look how busy this place is. Someone must have seen Miss Tin Yoon. That's not cheating, right? We're just collecting intel. No, well, we're really just wasting our time here. I thought we're we're supposed to be looking for Kafka. She was she was down there. Some oh she's really gone now. Uh oh. Asking people nearby? No. Oh, what is that? <laughs> the dog is really cute. I can't look at it moving. Crumpled up packaging of a tea brand. The tea brand Immortals Delight. No, Miss Tingyun, you can't throw trash even for leaving behind clues. Refined pendant of a fan in the shape of a koi, but is left alone in some forgotten corner of the street. It is said that in the culture of the Shanjo, fish represents affluence. You vaguely recall that you have seen the pattern of fish swimming around each other on the fan of Miss Ting Yun. We have? I for one didn't see that. Miss Ting Yun must have left us these clues, right? Ting Yun should be able to pick up her traces now. There she is. Ma'am, we're resting our we're, let's go. We're wasting time here. He's quite handy when it comes to tracking, isn't he? Yeah, sure. You pick up traces of Kafka in Stargazer Navalia. Just switch him on. Don't let her escape. Set out Stargazer. Oh, where are we going? Reach these. Oh, chess. <laughs> oh, the doggo is so cute. I can't. Stargazer Navalia might become so quiet. Long were the nights when the clangor of hammers rose to meet the stars. People used to write poems about the shipwrights here. The Law Fu relies on the star skiffs produced here to transport people and goods. Now that work in the shipyard has stopped, our internal transport and outbound flights might also grind to a halt. <sighs> of course. The silver lining is, I don't have to go on as many trips anymore. And you don't seem to worry too much about the Sienjo, Miss Ting Yoon. I wouldn't say that. A good businesswoman doesn't wear her heart on her sleeve. Besides, the Alliance has weathered plenty of challenges. We can handle this situation. 
Just to warn you, if we do run into Kafka, you'll have to do the fighting benefactors. I'd love to help, but there's very little I can do except cheer you on from the sidelines. <laughs> you want to leave all the fun to us? Not a lot of people out there could have fought the Mara struck like you did. I'm what is the Mara struck? Anyway, I can't imagine what Kafka would do to me if I were caught in the fray. We Foxians don't live as long as the Sanjo locals. Foxians. But I still want to enjoy the hundred odd years I've got left. You'd do the same in my shoes, wouldn't you? Huh? You don't live as long as the Sanjo locals? How long? Huh? How long do they get to live? Are they not human? Besides, the Madam Helm Master simply asked me to assist you in navigating around Starskiff Haven. It's no different to any other diplomatic mission or delegate reception. I was never much of a fighter, and I'm not one for risking my life either. Getting B Ting into your hands is already beyond the realm of my job description. I'll definitely be putting in a few words next time we meet Yu Kong. Understood. We won't put you out of your comfort zone, Miss Ting Yu. When we run into Kafka, we'll do the fighting and the capturing, for that matter. Thank you for showing us the way. Okay. Before D Ting can start tracking, you'll have to feed him some leads. If Kafka D is, hiding is too cute. Nivalia, she'll have left behind traces. Let's spread out and look for them. Leave no stone unturned. This this is reminding me of old uh cable phone at home. Dating. I cannot. The dogo is too cute. Ah. <laughs> Shards of a cloud knight's weapon. Something really sharp caused this. Yeah, the one that can spin exactly. It must have been yeah, that's that's the one. Whole arm that was sliced in half. One can imagine to fight the Befellis Master. Immortals delight. Immortals delight. Immortals delight is the tea brand. This isn't a clue. Brand of tea I like. Two cups a day keeps the tiredness at bay. I could do with a cup once we're done here. <laughs> Milk tea twins. Just call her bestie, just like. Take your fancy, there's a reward inside. 
Oh, why do I get the feeling we're not the ones doing the hunting? Hmm. It seems like Kafka predicted our every move. Stay alert, all of you. We could be walking into a trap. She be playing with us. I don't mind. What are these things? Oh. I know, I know. Let's go and have a look. What are we having a look at? Oh. The detang smells something. <laughs> Too late to repent. This song's for you. Turn it up. No interesting. Need a doctor? One of Kafka Kafka techniques is called dominance. Lance at the ready. Love that for her. Oh, to be dominated by Kafka. <laughs> <laughs> what was it just now? We were picking up something. Where is it, Ditting? Oh, there. Ah, I know what this is. It's an advertisement for a home use object finder. Oh no, I I hate that. There are the beep beep thingy. With their trade commissioner, there's more. The DT, what's this? A jade seal used by the shipwrights. It opens various passages. It looks like someone used it and then destroyed it. Possibly Kafka. Token required to traverse a course an important location. Looks like the process of acquiring this token was not very smooth. They move faster after reviving? Oh. Am I back now? No interesting conflict. <laughs> the truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. <laughs> Time for the main event. Turn it up. Mm, I see. Yeah. Must have been my connection. This boss is so tanky. Don't 
Don't worry about me. <laughs> Don't worry about you, you were dying. I'm gonna stuck here forever. Hello. <laughs> it's taking forever to fight this boss. No, please don't revive yet. Please. Okay. Well, that took a while. We should have enough clues here to get Deeding on the move. No time to lose. Let's give him the scent and let him lead the way. Is there anything else here? No. Then we're gonna ignore that enemy. Oh, sh Wait. Huh? I think we've rounded up all our suspicious clues. But did Kafka leave them behind on accident? Or on purpose? Obviously on purpose. Uh, she sure did put a lot of work into this gag, and I think we're the punchline. Oh, making us run around like jerks? I bet she's loving this. I can almost hear her whispering. Come and get me. <laughs> she sure is a stellar on Hunter. Oh, why don't you go and marry her, huh? Don't forget, she's on the IPC's <laughs> most wanted list. I would love to. to pin down. Now we've become her prey while she stalks us in the shadows. Let's go, benefactors. Time is of the essence. We must be close. Wait, oh. Right, we cannot fall in Honkai Star Hill. <laughs> oh no, the thing. Oh, that's. I can't. 
Can we keep this dog after this quest? <laughs> it's so cute. Hello, hello, Erina. Welcome. The things so precious. I want to keep the dog after this. Can we do that? Are we allowed? The best is yet to come. Where? Use the function. Oh, I don't want to keep fighting these enemies. Can I just not? I have to. For some reason, my sword was hitting a bit harder today. While hitting harder, proceed to hit just one thousand. I'm on guard. Oh, no, 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 she's gonna die. Pretty good crowd today. Let's oh, I hate those enemies. Deeting. Wait, what? What is this? Fire damage. No. Yeah, I know, but um, I do want to fight some of them because I guess to collect materials. <laughs> That's fine. If it's the big one, then I will run away. I don't want to spend an hour just fighting an enemy. Hello, where am I going? Am I blind? Where? What? Here? Oh I could have I could have done without fighting that enemy, but ah! <laughs> fighting is meaningless. <laughs> Time for the main event. That's the wrong one. <laughs> I was about to run away. <laughs> oh, another chest, another handprint. Has this woman got nothing better to do? Why are you complaining, March? Let her play with us a bit more. You mean you love her, right? We love her. We love Kafka. What is that? Germination face. Please pay attention to the fact above as it is often included in the ad. Uh, wait. That's too fast. Bye. Oh, I can do that. Getting scared of enemies. The scent. Where 
did it go? Oh, when the trace of the hunted <gasps> disappears, the hunter better think twice. Oh my god. <gasps> She's actually here? <laughs> I wasn't prepared. She's... Hello? It might mean the <gasps> tables have turned. Oh my god. She's here. Knights aren't Mara struck. What did you do to them? Just a little persuasion to get them to listen to me. But you know all about that already, don't you? <laughs> what? Oh, what a hassle. This place is too far for the diviner. See you up ahead. Wait, she's you're just gonna wait, 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 you're you're just gonna leave like that? Wait. What? Hello? No. Wait. Huh? No wait. Interesting conflict. She left. That's so cool though. Her scent stopped there because she was there in person. <laughs> Fighting is meaningless. Lance at the ready. No interesting conflict. <laughs> Quick! Don't let her escape! March not so fast! For someone who hates Kafka so much, March is so quick to run after her. Oh, the color is like this because it's Kafka scent. <laughs> I just realized that. Wait, where did she go? Huh? <gasps> so close and yet so far. You'll have to pick up the pace. Oh my god, her voice. <laughs> Yeah, I regret nothing changing to the English voiceover. I regret nothing. Well, that's insane. I'm gonna just do this real quick. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> she's really just walking away like that, knowing that she's not going to get caught. The energy. Don't worry about locked doors, benefactors. We can use the conveyor belt. Yeah, I switched to English specifically to hear Kafka. <laughs> she delivered. Wait, she's running away. Oh, no. Miss Ma'am, wait for me. I don't... Wait, how do I even... What do I even... What? What? Hello? <laughs> move... Move to the left? Oh, move to the left. Didn't go there. No. Hi, baby. 
Welcome. Wait, where do I... Do I go right? Is this... Huh? Oh, okay, okay. Maybe. I go here. Surely Kafka will wait for us as I grab some of this chest, right? <laughs> Where do I even go? I cannot. I know this. That's so annoying. I thought just putting it like the corners close together, <laughs> we can walk across. But no. Probably we're too stupid to jump. Wait, what? What just happened right now? Um Yeah, I don't know. Oh, oh. What did I just do? How to get the chest? <laughs> that is so stupid. <laughs> if it's Genshin, we could have just climbed, climb this, climb this, 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 this thing. <laughs> so stupid. Kafka, wait. We were just figuring out the puzzle. Wait for us. Where is she? Wait. Wait, wait. Where did she go? Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, that scared me. I knew there was gonna be something there. Oh my god. <sighs> that scared me. Use my technique for what? Before fight? <laughs> scared me so much. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you and me. <sighs> Hello, sis. Welcome. My solo hit kind of hard. It used to be just 600. What change? I honestly don't know. All right, Kafka. <laughs> Where did she go? There Welcome, she is. Astral Expressors. Looks like you caught me. I don't believe you. You were waiting for us. <laughs> you have the right to remain silent.
<laughs> no, just you're so amused. Admit it, Kafka. You planned for us to come here. I didn't plan anything. It was the future. We interfere on countless future possibilities and make the best future a reality. Huh. You speak too highly of us, Welt. The Stellaron Hunters are merely Destiny's slaves. <laughs> Best future? Best for who? As if you'd consider anyone but yourself. If I said best for the universe, would you believe me? <laughs> best for me, naturally. Well. We're taking you to see the general of the law fool. You can profess your innocence all you like, but the general will decide your fate. It's no, it's not. It's not. It's definitely not gonna be this easy. Oh, thanks, but no thanks. I can't stand moving at someone else's pace. We don't have much time. If I were you, I'd make a move. Before it's too late. <laughs> Before what's too late? <gasps> Move carefully. We're f fighting her. Oh no! I only have done him. Oh, it's gonna be a long one. I can submit to her. <laughs> what do you mean? Ready. Oh my god. Dominated. I want to be dominated by Kafka. It's finally, it's actually happening. Why is it suddenly so s slow? Oh, two times speed. Did I just... Did Dunghu just attack me? Ready to jam. Really? I can just submit to her? What would happen? What if I don't submit to her? If I just continue fighting, what would happen? Dan Hung needs a doctor. I'm on guard. He is under influence. Oh my god. Why is she so cool? Relax. Relax. The truth of life and death. Oh, the quest will just continue? Hey, not too bad, lah. Oh no! He's under influence again, Dan Hung! Snap out of it! <coughs> Ready to jam. Fighting 
is meaningless. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it. Or rock with it. <laughs> That move is really cool. I've no interest in conflict. The truth of life is death. Sanctuary is but a vision. You don't look so good. Nah. Songs for you. Didn't kill her. Silver? Zushrin, Divination Commission. I'll be taking the criminal from here. Greetings, crew of the Astral Express. This is our first encounter. Though given that I have encountered you in Foresight, perhaps I should say the second. I am Zushrin, Master Diviner at the Divination Commission and one of the six charioteers. She's very tiny. Young friends ought to be received with fine wine, but alas, the heavens, earth, and body are not aligned for such an occasion. You'll allow for a postponement of the usual formalities, I trust. We should begin with the matter at hand. What the actual heck is she saying? <laughs> She's just showing off with some big and fancy words. We received an assignment from General Jing Yuan to arrest the Stellaron Hunter. Thank you, Diviner, for coming to our aid, but we must escort the fugitive to the General. Any essential. I hold a proclamation from the General here, if you care to see. Upon detaining the Stellaron Hunter, questioning and all further arrangements are to be undertaken by the Divination Commission. <laughs> Did the General just spare us a walk with Kafka? I knew he was a good guy. Understood. However, the general promised that all intel would be shared with us. We have a right to know anything that Kafka divulges. Oh? That guy. Can I go one day without him throwing me under the... We won't make things any more complicated than they need to be. The way I'm losing my interest the moment Kafka is not on screen. <laughs> Very well. Urgency demands fluidity. The three of you shall accompany me to the Divination Commission. Uh, can't we do the questioning here? The Stellaron Hunters are slippery. What if she makes a break for it? We shouldn't delay. Oh, I am here. She will not escape. Only the Divination Commission has the methods to make her talk and bring the truth to light. The time has arrived. We must depart. Please proceed. <clears throat> what is that? Let's disembark here, benefactors. <sighs> I may live in relative seclusion. But I can recognize my own territory. Why did you bring us here? Does this look like the Divination Commission to you? <sighs> no need to yell, Master Diviner. The Meridian Pen is malfunctioning, and I couldn't find the entrance to the Delve. I wanted to get us straight to our destination, but this is the only place I could dock the Star Skiff. Look, Exalting Sanctum. This is a safe place. Place. Let's just walk the rest of the way from here. This is Liyue Harbor. <clears throat> Our hexagrammatic position is fluctuating between the Martian water trigrams. 
The vessel is stranded and the way is blocked. I heard the Sienjo can tell your fortune. Is that how they do it? Anyone can count on their fingers. You can count on your fingers? I just performed some quick divination, and the hexagram is consistent with our current predicament. The Starska cannot take us to the Divination Commission today. Alas, without me in charge to handle the Stellaron Crisis, I dare not even imagine the kind of mess the Commission must be in. It's true. The Divination Commission really can't go a single day without Lady Fu. <sighs> That's why you have to develop your talent pool. Otherwise, everything <laughs> That's too real. That's too real. That's too real. You cannot go on vacation if you're a short staff. <laughs> no. I thought game is for escapism. That's too relatable. Mission's eternal affairs, I shall absolve you of your ridiculous remarks. I'm going ahead to make some inquiries. Goodbye. What about Kafka? The prisoner must follow me every step of the way. Mm -hmm. Okay, baby. Thank you for joining me. When you question Kafka, <clears throat> you think too little of me. My word is my bond. Well, her eyes are pretty, I will though. I my promise, even if the stealth collapses. That's very unlikely, by the way. To have this prisoner speak, the commission must resort to unconventional means. The nature of which is confidential and cannot be disclosed. Forgive me, but. I can assure you that the questioning will not begin until you arrive, even if that means wasting precious time. I have appointed someone to wait for you in front of Exalting Sanctum Plaza. Once we've consolidated our internal affairs, you will be brought into the Divination Commission. Please be patient. Uh, okay. We trust you. <laughs> Oh, I think I offended someone again. <laughs> She's just annoyed that you won't trust her. Hey, are you on her side? I just wanted to remind her not to break her promise, that's all. Don't take it to heart, March. Miss Fushen seems like a reasonable lady. I'm sure she's not angry with you. Wait, they really brought Kafka in? As icy as Dunhung? <laughs> Dunhung's not icy. He's nerdy. Okay, enough chit chat. I reckon the Divination Commission could be a while. Let's take a look around. I honestly didn't notice. Was it when Fushun first appeared? I was too busy focusing on Kafka. My bad. <laughs> What does the Divination Commission do? You never asked what the Skyfaring Commission does. I suppose not all commissions are created equal. Anyway, if you must know, the Divination Commission is responsible for gathering intelligence, devising strategies, and performing divination. Divination? Trial by fortune telling? to it it's not like i would know 
I'm a mere amicaciter. Don't worry. Diviner Fu seems confident about getting Kafka to talk. Tingyun sounds a bit mature you, than the I'd first time I met her earlier me. for some reason. Will Fu Shun go back on her word? Who knows? She tends to make decisions based on the results of her divinations as opposed to what others might be thinking. If she doesn't want to reveal the commission's secrets, then you have no choice but to wait. Hmm. But it's okay for a wanted fugitive to find out. The general entrusted the master diviner with the interrogation of the fugitive because he has faith in her ability to manage the situation. As one of the six charioteers, she is certainly capable. Why do you think Kafka surrendered at the mere sight of her back in Stargazer Navalia? Because it's part of her plan. She wanted to get caught. I think. Oh, did you want a tour of Exalting Sanctum? <laughs> oh, the last time I came here on a star skiff was, well, let me think, about 20 years ago now. I've been on the road for so long that I've started <gasps> to forget the sights and sounds of the Sienjo. Wait, how old is she? I thought she was early 20s. All I remember is that this is a good place to while away the days. Still, many delves have changed beyond recognition since... Right? Early on, she sounded like a teenager. But now she's like, you know, just enough like early 20s lady or something. Okay, bye. If you're bored, you could go and find the messenger from the divination commission. Okay, or I cannot I can't just not do that now. <clears throat> the nature of which is confidential and cannot be disclosed. <laughs> that is the Angel motto or something? First the sky fearing commission, now the divination commission. They're all so secretive. The general's the only friendly face here. I hate to admit it, but I'm even starting to miss Sampo. I don't. I must be losing my mind. <laughs> nope. I'll take the Sienjo over that blue-haired boar any day. <laughs> We've gone from being chased through every street in Bellabog to waiting on every corner in the Sienjo. <sighs> Chasing and waiting. Maybe that's what life's all about. <laughs> Does the Sienjo scenario seem familiar to you? Are you wondering if the Sienjo is my homeworld? No, I'm not getting any flashbacks. <laughs> Please, do I look Sienjo-ish to you? Sienjo-ish. thinking of Don Hung. Hmm. <sighs> Good idea. Let's go. Oh, wait a minute. Clear my head of what? Where's Don Hung? When we confronted Kafka, she seemed certain that Fu Shen would show up. Mm, she read the script in advance. The leader of the Stellaron Hunters is called Elio. No one knows who he is or what he looks like. Only that the Interastral Peace Corporation calls him Destiny's Slave. It's said that he has the power to foresee possibilities. According to Herta, the corporation believes Elio can see the temporal branching of infinite possibilities, which is very much like being able to predict the future. In fact, it may even be superior. If the rumors are true, every seemingly meaningless action taken by the Stellaron Hunters may actually be a choice based on those possibilities. Elio be having a time stone. Can see the future and all that. Which would include what they did to you. Hmm. Yeah, whatever. That's good. But be careful. Maybe the Stellaron hunters showing up is a sign that they're trying to change the future. Back to the matter at hand. 
Kafka. Yeah, it seems very odd. It's like part of a plan. Yes, it's strange for a fugitive to give themselves up, but a fugitive who can see the future? For her, perhaps that was the way it was always going to be. Hmm. Hmm. But is she really as calm as she seems? The future holds almost infinite possibilities, after all. I suspect she has proof that she has nothing to do with the Stellaron crisis. <sighs> what is she up to? Or perhaps something is supposed to transpire during the Divination Commission's interrogation. Something that would allow her window of escape. Why did the Stellaron Hunters go to such lengths to bring us here? What is the future that Destiny's slave sees behind this course of action? Well, really is an old man, isn't he? All of the people in Shanzo are like 100 years old they got to live to hundreds years old is that why but they stay young how is that possible i like her color thousands Eh? So they are not human? How are they different than the people in Bellabog? Interesting. What is this? Wait, how far am I into the quest now? Oh, that was like f the fourth submission. Well, that's a long one just now. The hound chases the fox. The hound was Kafka. See? How long is this next part? No. No, let me through. That's the plaza. But uh, I can't see anyone waiting for us. Should we look around? Do you know how to fix a star skip? We're gonna look around for chest, that's for sure. Okay. Why is the music like this? Something bad's gonna happen. Drop by the huh? commission if you need help. Your fur baby got lost? Hello, welcome, welcome. Ah, uh, not too long. Okay, then I'll continue this one part. Who was talking? Why all of them are foxes? Is there no human? Oh, there's Jingyuan. Jingyuan is human. Oh no.
No. I mean, make them lie down. Fighting is meaningless. <laughs> Is it baby? That's my favorite character, you guys. The one who got me through the equilibrium test. <laughs> no, oh, I hate it. She's talking like she was part of the fight. Thanks for helping me stabilize the patients. Your assertive sedation techniques are quite effective. Assertive sedation? Uh huh. You're welcome. Assertive sedation techniques? Uh, does she mean beating people <laughs> up? However, these proud knights were already sick. <coughs> now they're injured too. I've got to bandage up their wounds, realign their bones. Ugh, as if I didn't have enough on my plate. Aren't you a little too young to be realigning bones? Where did you come from, little one? Is your dad around? I don't have a dad. <gasps> uh, what about your mom? I don't have a mom. I don't have a mom either. <laughs> Because I'm small, you must be a runaway child. <laughs> Welcome to the Xian Show, my short lived outsider friends. Appearances can be deceiving here. The Vidyadara race is self reincarnating. No mom or dad required. Oh, I see. I've been studying the art of healing ever since I cast off my old shell. You're looking at a recognized, practicing, dedicated doctor. Okay. Bellabog kids are making snowmen, while children here are writing prescriptions. <laughs> it's too real. I mean, children's here, they're like 100 years old. So, we cannot really compare with Bellabog, can we? Things haven't been very peaceful in the law pool recently. Make sure you don't go running around, right? Well, your general gave us an errand. So, I'm afraid we have to. Hmm. Well, seeing as you saved me just now, if you're lucky enough to acquire any breaks or sprains, I'll treat you for free. As I feel like medicine, one day in the future, hopefully it's not gonna happen, but like, she's basically the Paimon of the story, right? Of the Honkai Star Rail. Except she's not small and, and flying. What if one day she turns to sound as annoying as Paimon is? What did you say? Seeing as you saved me just now? Okay. It doesn't sound very free. Yeah, March is at least useful. She's at least fighting with us. No, thank you. You're in my team. I don't need your healing now. If I hadn't left my purse at home, I wouldn't have to. <laughs> Enough of that. I have patience to see. Our little miracle worker seems very different from everyone else around. <laughs> don't you think, Mr. Yang? Can we walk? Oh, we can. So this is the Vidyadara. I've only ever read about them. They're known as the Dragon Race. Not hard to see why. What am I looking for? I heard the knights affected by the evil are going berserk. Don't scare yourself. The Alchemy Commission's Dragon Lady can cure anything. Huh? Throw around. Look for the messenger sent by Fushun.
What am I? That's the best I can do. Ooh. What's that supposed to mean? Doctors don't give up that easily. What else am I supposed to do? The route back to the Alchemy Commission has disappeared, and we're in the field without the right medicine or supplies. Besides, we have no record of this disease at all. These symptoms are consistent with someone about to be stricken with Mara. According to his medical record, this man is barely over 200 years old. <coughs> he only just joined the Cloud Knights. 200 years old? How possibly be Mara struck? Why don't you take another look? It goes on like this. The judges of the Ten Lords Commission will have to come out and clean up this mess. Oh, it's not even them. I was listening to the entire story. <laughs> Who am I looking for? Stroll around? To find a messenger? Where? Is it you? Artisan Ship Commission has its own issues. Oh, my apologies. I'm an orderly from the Realm Keeping Commission. Judging by your dress, you must be visitors to the law group. Yep. I'm a guest. The general invited me. And I'm a civil servant. The general hired me. Technically speaking, every traveler aboard the law foo is a guest of the general. If the port is still open, I would suggest you take a boat to Starskiff Haven right away. Though, I heard the route may have been uh, temporarily suspended. Oh, that reminds me. I have a friend with a star skiff and a travel permit. He could help you and your friends get over quickly. <laughs> Price is fair and negotiable. What do you think? Oh, thank you, I can teleport there. Hmm. Very well. I still have business to attend to. If you change your mind, come to me anytime. Is Oh, it's actually him. Oh, these people. Okay, Song Yan. Hi. Everyone, please remain calm. This is an announcement from the Realm Keeping Commission General Bureau. Exalting Sanctum is temporarily <coughs> closing its borders and navigation routes. The details will be outlined in the official bulletin sent to your Jade Abacus soon. If you feel unwell, please report to the Realm Keeping Commission as soon as possible. We have doctors from the Alchemy Commission here who will see you free of charge. Oh, uh, we will be distributing a bag of protein rice and emergency medicine to each of you. You can collect the supplies from me in person, or the Commission can deliver them to your door. <laughs> How's the Divination Commission faring? I heard there's a problem with their Meridian Pen. Some diviners and stargazers managed to escape the delve. Many of them were terrified. They were muttering about plants and roots. Something terrible must have happened there. Do you have friends trapped in the Delve? If you're worried about them, find a diviner and see if they can tell you what happened. Thank you. I don't want to say it's all in a day's work, but I've been here for 12 hours already. When will this end? Excuse me, miss. Hold on a moment. It was only thanks to your help earlier that the Dragon Lady and those Exalting Sanctum residents got away unscathed. Dragon Lady? The Dragon Lady of the Alchemy Commission. Lady Bailu. You mean the child? She's <coughs> to sound like a big shot. A friend in the Skyfaring Commission told me the General Commission guests to deal with the troubles on the Lafu. You must be the guests. If you don't mind... I hope you can take the time to come to the Realm Keeping Commission. I'd like to talk to you about the issues Exalting Sanctum is currently facing. Is that all? Oh, done home. What are you doing in Shanzo? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're okay. Okay. Huh? 
Why are we challenging? Why? Do I have to? Oh, companion quest. Where was it just now? Okay, later, Dunhang. New friends bring new joy. Where is that? Um. What does that mean? It's just a picture. Are we supposed to meet someone there? It's like one of those messages a kidnapper sends <laughs> in a horror movie. That's enough of that. Come on, let's go. It's literally right here. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the genius diviner, formerly of the formerly of the divination commission, now a humble shopkeeper of the looking bronze. My name is Royu. Royue. Whether you're seeking fortune or safety, simply wish to check your horoscope to find love or even to request a name for your child. I am humbly at your service. <laughs> I wish to name myself. <laughs> Noop. Wow, that's very original. <laughs> a fee to unlock shop. Seriously, sophisticated names. I have service for all needs. Wow, that's a subscriber plan. It will be gone, bundle as a favor. This is your lucky trinket for today. Don't lose it. I'd like to ask you a few things. You said you were once Divination Commission Diviner. Oh. She removed me from Divination Commission, so she did. <laughs> Damn, she did that? It's fortune telling, basically. Okay, bye. Hurry up, Chincha. We'll be fossils by the time you're finished. Oh, I know her. I've seen her. I heard there was a disaster in the Divination Commission's Delve. I'm surprised you're in the mood to play right now, Chinchua. Chinchua. Even if the sky was gonna collapse on the Divination Commission. The Master Diviner would be there to hold it up. What she lacks in height, she more than makes up for in stamina. Anyway, I didn't come here just to play. She ordered me to wait here for our guests. Time is precious. I'm simply multitasking. It's the place in the photo, all right. Is this a games parlor? Uh, what kind of problem can they possibly be facing? Isn't this hand a problem? I have the worst luck. Wait, her problem is that she has bad luck? I thought she couldn't go because of something more important than that. Oh, uh, hi there! I can tell just by looking at you that you're the Divination Commission's guests. Mm. Did you bring us here just for this? Hello, pe oh, hello, stay focused. Oh, to myself, she better to meet somewhere quieter. More of a gun! <laughs> Damn, wouldn't that be more fun, too? Better to show you the real exalting sanctuary. 
Jade and then introduce you to a true CM Joe pastime. Celestial Jade! <laughs> Victory! <laughs> She's really multitasking. She's so fun. Ching Chui. Your enthusiasm for this celestial jade game has stoked my curiosity. My Jong. My Jong. I'm glad to hear it. You clearly have excellent taste. If you're interested, I can show you how to play. Where do I? It's great fun. What? Sure. Mr. Yang, is this really the best time? Wait, it's not. It's here. Where do I go? Ooh, chest. Have you read the novel about the Ten Lords of the Mission? Hello, where am I going? I am lost once again. It's like back out. Infinite stamina. Oh yeah, it's here. Ah, look. Is that a oh, it's an ancient tree. We call it the Ambrosial Arbor. It was once the Sienjo Lafu's prized treasure. Oh, she sounds different again here. I didn't know the Skyfaring Commission were history buffs. Not bad. Younger generations usually don't know much about it. It's said that the Ambrosial Arbor is an ancient remnant from where the Sienjo roamed the ether. From a distance, it looks like half a tree stump. But according to records of the early nation, in its prime, it wound into the heavens and from its celestial bodies hung. Meaning? <laughs> it means the tree was as tall as the sky and stars hung from its branches. Thank you. So, how big was it? Bigger than the Express? Bigger than Herta Space Station? No, that can't be right. Stars hung from its branches. Then, how did it fit in the Sienjo? Hmm. Those are metaphors. You shouldn't take poetry so literally. Anyway, it's just a legend. I see this view every day on my way to work. I'm kind of bored of it. Let's go. Mm, okay, okay, where to now? This way? I don't believe in ghosts. Need to extract or clean huh? No further. We're almost there, everyone. Stay close. Just a heads up, please don't go running off once we're inside. Maybe the Master Diviner's guests, but she hates people who don't abide by rules and regulations. Oh, and people who ask too many questions, not to mention. Please. So strange. Oh, let me guess. The gate isn't working. I don't understand. It's never been locked before. And no one told me to take a key. Hey, I know the food here sucks, but there's no reason to shut the gate on our guests. Are you really from the Divination Commission? <laughs> well, she's so tiny as well. It's possible you were fired? No. Already demoted me to managing the repository. What else does she want from me? There's no need to panic, okay? This isn't the only entrance into the Divination Commission. I know an emergency access. Ching Chui. Where? Here it is. Are you here, 
heavy shot. Ugh, Celeron corrosion. Great, this gate won't open either. We've kept the Master Diviner waiting. No doubt she'll feel unreliable Chinchu for messing up once again. <laughs> oh no. I knew I'd offended that Diviner. That's why she sent this girl to help us. Miss Chinchu, if you don't mind, may I take a look? Huh? Oh, no need. Actually, I was just being polite. I don't see why not. Let me show you. This thing is pretty fun. Oh no. Developed by the Artisanship Commission. Move the computing modules with sub routing stored in them to pieces with corresponding patterns so that the subtract can function normally. Uh huh. What? What am I doing? Oh no. What? I have to put S into S? Huh? I cannot... Oh... Thanks. trouble uh, can't we run around to them for a change is meaningless. Ugh. I forgot. Revealed in an instant, the sanctuary is but a vision. Break. Pretty good crowd today. Let's rock. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it or rock with it. <laughs> Dang, hung is the funniest. Oh, never mind. Hello, open the door. No, it's not here. <laughs> Where is it? Oh my god, this place is full of monsters. Whoa. What is that place? Mingyue. A large-scale Jade Abacus calculation terminal. It's the pride and joy of the Divination Commission. <clears throat> We've heard the term Jade Abacus a few times now. Would you mind explaining what it is, Miss Chingchu? A Jade Abacus is just... A Jade Abacus! <laughs> <sighs> That's a That's Mr. Yang. explains a lot. It might take me a minute to give you an answer. Let me think. This like SM water tastes like water. The energy. The book glimpses 
into the beyond describes it as living jade engraved with symbols for divination into the unknown. Just like engraving a seal, the craftsmen of the Sianjo Artisanship Commission carve faint symbols into pieces of jade and then insert them into machines to get them to operate according to a certain intention. Some jade abacuses are small enough to fit inside bracelets and jewelry. <laughs> yeah. We put the bigger ones into instruments of calculation so we can simulate the future and learn from the past. Oh my god, I just miss everything that she just said. Take the matrix of prescience here as an example. As long as sufficient information is provided, it can answer questions on anything. From the evolution of natural phenomena to the metabolism of living things. They say the theory behind the symbols was handed down by Noose, the wisdom locker. The principles are so Noose. profound that in the divination commission, only the master diviner truly understands them. <laughs> so they're computers. Seems like it, but Jade Abacus does sound a lot better. <laughs> Besides, ordinary computers don't have cool backstories. Technology handed down from use. Huh. Even in Madame Herta's space station, I never saw anything related to Noose. Anyway, don't dwell on names. As long as the machine works, what does it matter whether it's a Jade Abacus or a computer? Just like today, would it have mattered if Bai Chue had brought you here instead of Ching Chue? It makes no difference at all. There's a Bai Chue? We're almost at the Matrix of Prescience Core. The Master Diviner should be waiting. Who is that? Jing Yuan. The Swiss man. Diviner Fu. How are things progressing? We are fluctuating between the heaven and thunder trigrams. A step forward bridges no distance hence. And for those who don't speak Fushen? <clears throat> it's an utter disaster. How's that for a divination commission fortune? The matrix of prescience has stopped operating, and the symbols have dimmed. There are Stellaron spirits wreaking havoc inside the commission. And the Cloud Knights are struggling to protect civilians. I want to restore the Matrix of Prescience, but I have no forces available. And on top of all of that, General, we still have to deal with the Stellaron Hunter you handed to us. If that's not an utter disaster, then I don't know what is. <laughs> but your Fu Shen, this year, just very intense. The boundless omniscient. Bringing luck and avoiding misfortune is your strong suit, isn't it? You don't need to flatter me, General. It's natural for fortune to fluctuate. There's no escaping it. The Divination Commission simply does its best to uncover the good and the bad and then make the right decisions. We have no magical means to turn the tide. And that is precisely why we need you in charge. When it comes to handling clairvoyant Stellaron hunters, who better than Fu Shen the Seer? As for reinforcements, you didn't think I'd be unprepared, did you? He's, he's, he's doing that, like complimenting people left and right to get them to do things for him. Look, help has just arrived. Master Diviner, I brought you the guests. Though, it wasn't your order I received. Uh, so general. Even guests are on the payroll these days? Well, since they're here already, I may as well make use of them. Entering the Matrix of Prescience without my permission is a breach of protocol. <sighs> Would be an ungracious thing to say in the present circumstances. I admit I'm pleasantly surprised to see you here. Wait. Surprise? Ching Chue is often unreliable, but she comes through for us when the need arises. Got to have us as your errand runners, aren't you? It's nice to have people I can entrust with difficult matters. I'm not like the general, and you don't even belong to my commission. I certainly won't be bossing you around. No need for the formalities. We heard what the general said. If you need something from us, just say the word. Very well, then I'll keep this brief. 
The Divination Commission is currently understaffed. I need your help to restart the Matrix of Prescience of Space Terminals. And eliminate the Stellaron spirits along the way. Oh. Yes, but you needn't worry. You have my permission. Jing Chue will accompany you. She'll be in charge of restarting the terminal. As for eliminating the spirits... <clears throat> I have divined our future. We are destined to be errand runners. Forever. Just say the magic word. What? Which magic word? Oh, you know which one. Oh, that's not the end of it. Shifting screen. Mm. Okay. Now we can jump. Let me see. This is the temporal terminal. Observes the potential of the temporal plane. They say this terminal is designed to retrieve information related to time. Activate base terminal. <laughs> Servo just humming over there. Pick up? Huh? Oh, we can do these. That's it? What? You just matched up those symbols. Is that it? <laughs> the more complex something is, the more important mm. it is to keep it simple. Don't you think? I don't know. I think you should make it complicated. Oh, if it's so simple, why didn't your master diviner come and do it herself? Because they're under staff. <laughs> Maybe deep down she just wants to be lazy once in a while. Like me. There's more? Oh. Oh, this is a hard one. Hmm? Oh, we can do that. to fight it okay. oh, what the heck is this it looks like a walking gate oh it's the thing that I have to repair easy there's nothing supernatural on the C and Joe it's an aromaton it's got oh, I feel like it needs a sign saying mortals forbidden or something is actually an enemy no We're here by disgusting the master diviner to restart the matrix of Prescience. Friends, not foes. Passage. 
Oh God. Uh, March. You should join the divination commission. <laughs> you recruited. Fight with us. Move carefully. Oh. Oh no. This song's for you. Oh, they're not immune now. I've no interest in conflict. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Oh, Six thousand. MC sounds like a Power Ranger member about to unleash their ultimate. <laughs> Wait. Hmm? Oh. This must be the spatial terminal. They say this terminal is designed to retrieve information related to space. You probably could have guessed that. The puzzles are pretty. Quick, okay. quick, 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 run, 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 run. Oh no! Okay. <laughs> no, what is this? Oh, okay. Teleport. <coughs> Let this be something quick. related darn the karma terminal they say this terminal is designed to establish causal relationships that's it Ooh, we did it all three terminals activated can i just teleport there no, faster this way. To the core and report to the master diviner. Hello, man. Pay me up. I've done your deeds. Well done, all of you. Now to interrogate Kafka. Those of you in the core may feel a few impacts. Are you ready? Sure. Is this really necessary? <gasps> I said I'd cooperate with you. She, wow, she looks different. Where is the lipstick? 
What happened to her eyes? It's our mommy, okay? <laughs> She looks very innocent suddenly. Where's the lipstick, ma'am? I have no interest in the words of wanted criminals, especially those skilled in the art of manipulation. So, say what you will. I'm here to witness the divination of the Matrix of Prescience. The Divination Commission has ways of extracting the truth, and they're far more effective than a conversation. Oh god, you're right. The, sh the shoulder. Oh. You're wrong. The blazer is off. Wow, she looks normal. Huh. We're just gonna do that okay then please master diviner witness my destiny <sighs> oh what is it what is it well she looks different for sure for sure don't mind me taking screenshots She's just having fun. But what happened to the lipstick though? Symbolism of stripping her of her facade? No makeup, lipstick. No contact lens. <laughs> It's interesting. Cutscene. What's happening? I can't believe it. I don't know if it's also transpired to the stream, but <laughs> the mic cutscene was lagging. <laughs> what happened? Yeah, this Kafka is very what's the word? open oh my god it lagged too oh no what happened my computer decided to give up on me no the music just now is like lagging like <laughs> they cannot handle kafka this this kafka without the lipstick and the makeup and the blazer it's too much to handle even my computer gave up. But the matrix of prescience cannot be wrong. Oh no, it's it's lagging. <laughs> Help. <laughs> oh yeah, that's so true. Nothing to do with the Stellaron, but you it's you. <laughs> no, it's lagging. Oh, it's lagging. Yes, it's still choppy. What's going on? I don't know. Huh? What's going on? That Kafka scene really just destroyed my computer. Oh, it's still a bit choppy. Oh, no. What just happened? As for 
<gasps> oh my god, look at her. Wow. Can we just like pause here for a second? We're gonna pause here for a second and just gonna, you know, we're just gonna look very respectfully. Ah, she looks very innocent. Yeah, my PC was just like, I surrender, ma'am. <laughs> I surrender, erased me, dominate me now. <laughs> Kafka, wow. So insane, her power. So unreal. I must report this to the <laughs> still choppy. Oh, stop. What happened to my computer? I know you you still have many questions for Kafka yourself. Well, crazy. Crazy. Talk with Kafka alone? Talk to her alone. <gasps> Hi. Insane. Insane. I thought just the screen pausing on her just now was already the best moment, but then she proceeded to say hi to us. <sighs> what a nice day to be Honkai Star player. Insane. Hi. You haven't changed a bit. Oh no, it got choppy. Oh no. <laughs> no, be normal, my game. Be normal. Computer, please. <laughs> please. Don't do this to me. No, I changed the voice over to English for this very moment. Not that I know this moment we're gonna come, but like for the moment that Kafka showed up on screen. Oh, no, please don't get choppy. I want to listen to her voice. No. Are you have to see me in such <laughs> Oh my god, I cannot believe it. <laughs> really? Well, that's good. I wouldn't want to your image of me. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> it's so bad. <sighs> yeah, what do you mean, sorry state? You look you look fabulous to me. Oh my gosh, she looks she looks great. She looks great. I don't know what sorry state what's her definition of story state? I don't know. Please, we, we need to to hear more lines from Kafka. My computer, please. <laughs> please, just stay strong. I didn't talk to you on the train because I knew you and I would get to talk alone here. Worth waiting for, don't you think? You seem to have a lot to ask me. Oh my god, why is it like knees? <laughs> Mm, the comedic timing of my computer it's it's insane why is it like this 
There's nothing going on in the background. So what is your objective, ma'am? Other than, you know, killing us all here right now with your very different and very... Yeah. With your look. Elio said he foresaw three questions. That they would be the same in essence. If I were to hear one of them, I would then tell you the... The objective of this trip in all its detail yeah there's not but there's nothing in the background it's literally just just this the game and one chrome tab <laughs> and the streaming application why don't die on me don't die on me yet i want to listen to kafka Questions. It means everything is going smoothly. Are you ready to hear my answer? Oh, it's back, guys. It's back. It's back. My computer is back. It's not choppy anymore. Let's go. Oh, no, man. 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 On hunters are completely innocent. We foresaw all this long, long ago, but chose to remain indifferent until the time was right for us to get involved. Hmm. Diviner Foo was surprised because she discovered three truths. One. The Stellaron Hunters are not enemies of the Sienjo. You know this now, though you refuse to believe it. My god, I cannot believe my computer really is dying on me. Two, someone else brought the Stellaron into the Sienjo and activated it. A result of both internal unrest and ex external aggression. Traitors on the law, Afu, and enemies from out outside want to overthrow the CNJO. Master Viner is in a hurry to find the general. Mm, Presumably, I see. Inform him of this fact. However, that's all the math. Or diviner or knows because Elio withheld key pieces of information from, from me. He foresaw the divination commission using the matrix of prescience against me to guard against setbacks. He ensured that I knew only what he wanted this Dienjo alliance to know. In this moment, right. This Elio person is very powerful. Then can see the future and all that. Huh. As for number three, even in their wildest dreams, <laughs> oh, she was smiling. If the Stellaron Hunters aren't the cause of all this, then why are Blady and I even here? <laughs> Blady? Cute. It's not Blade anymore, it's Blady. Hmm. We're here for you. No. What do you mean for me? What do you mean? Uh, no, don't say that looking at us like that. No. What do you mean? <sighs> insane. She's insane. 
You're insane. <coughs> Sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? It's no wonder Fushen doesn't believe it either. But the matrix of prescience doesn't lie. The, the answer is, is just that bizarre. The stellar on hunters appearing here. The lady getting arrested. Me being lured to the matrix of prescience. It was all, all to bring you, the Astral Express's crew, to the Cienjo. For what? It's interesting just now when MC decided, like, chose to remain silent, not saying anything, and then her eyes gazed down. <laughs> I cannot be the only one who noticed that. In the future that Elio chose, the power of the hunt is indispensable. Mm. And that's why the Astral Express crew had to come to the law foo and achieve something important for the Sienjo. You had to establish a connection with the alliance. <sighs> I should have I should have checked if the audio was back to normal before talking to Kafka. I thought I had to click her name before talking to her. <sighs> so much regret. I needed you to meet the Lafu's general in person and, and help him resolve the Stellaron crisis. I needed the Alliance to owe you a favor. That way, in the future, at the most <clears throat> critical moment, the Cienjo will offer you their help. Oh my god, her voice. The notorious Stellaron hunters did all, all that just to make you a, a hero of the Cienjo. Oh. Quite the plot twist, don't you think? Hmm. What is this future you're talking about? Like, like I said, <gasps> Elio withheld key pieces of information from me the future holds endless possibilities and knowing the right thing at the wrong time could spoil all our hard work there is only one thing I can tell you about the future in the best and the worst cases you will eventually have to face Nanook the destruction and when that time comes, you will need all the help you can get. It will be a brutal struggle of bionic proportions. Huh? She's helping us to level up so that we're ready to fight the final boss? Proportions that neither you nor I nor the astral express will ever be able to reach in the vast majority of futures that's when destiny ends but if we follow elio's plan there may be a glimmer of hope on the horizon hmm. you know even eons can be killed It doesn't chop it doesn't sound choppy now. No way. Hey, Lord. <laughs> they didn't finish telling us about the propagation. Wait, it sounds okay now. So Neons can die, huh? It sounds okay now. I 
the game just broke down when it was Kafka on screen? Come on. Cannot be real. <laughs> it sounds okay now. <laughs> Oh, Kafka! <laughs> no! Kafka! Oh my god, unbelievable. Unbelievable. It sounds okay just now. I don't believe it. How do we go back one scene? <laughs> I don't care about this three. <laughs> there is no true invincibility. Make a choppy right here. In the world. Such exaggerations are born of the perspectives of ordinary beings. Nonetheless, ordinary beings could not have orchestrated the fall of the propagation. That eon was slain at the hands of another eon. My God, it's it's fine now. I, I guess. They're all eons. Why do they want to fight? You are you really from the Sienjo? Other eons aside, surely you must know the story of Lan and Yaosha. Is destroying the eon Yaosha the alliance's cherished aim? Of course, I know. Well, Devastation. My mom made me practice with swords all day. I, I didn't really go to school. I sat through the entire Kafka monologue, Topi and all, only to arrive at this scene. <laughs> Normal. <sighs> In that case, let's just change the subject. If you don't know about the feud between the hunt and the abundance, I'm afraid there's just too much to explain. Why he sounds familiar though? Fine. How's this for a subject? What's in the box? Hmm, what's in the box? Oh, this one? <laughs> it's a casket. More commonly known as a Coffin. It's for containing the remains of the deceased. Oh, Ayato. I see. No wonder. The deceased? Aren't you a merchant? Yes, indeed. A merchant of dead this bodies. Is just part of my job. I was asked to deliver this coffin to the Sien Zhou. Ah, I'd quite forgotten. For. Long life species death is probably a distant concept. Mm. Nope. The Cloud Knights spend a lot of time on the battlefield. Death is a common occurrence. It's just we don't put bodies in boxes. Uh, coffins. In the Sienjo, people go to the Hall of Karma in the Ten Lords Commission and consecrate the names and jade abacuses of the dead. It's our way of saying goodbye. He's so lying. The coffin color scheme is just too similar to him for it to be something that he's delivering to somebody. The Foxians and the Vidyodora have their own ceremonies. Foxian soldiers place their dead in star skiffs and then let them drift out into the stars. They call it the returning. As for the Vidyodora, they're more mysterious they say that when a vidyadara is very old or has a fatal injury they turn into an egg that looks like a pearl and when the shell breaks they come out looking young again oh. my mom calls the vidyadara long scions when i was young she told me stories of how the vidyadara could turn into dragons I don't know if that's true. Oh. It's just a legend. What do you know? Scion of death 
Ripley speaks. Your mother is right. The Vidyadava are long scions. They are descendants of the Eon of Permanence. That was why some, but not all, could turn into dragons. The power was a rare inheritance. Passed down only to those who could successfully complete numerous rites and challenges. For the inheritor, it was hard to say whether it was a blessing or a curse. Hmm. I've heard the story of Long the Permanence and their descendants. Many myths and legends praise the Eon for a rich and immortal life. But for some reason, the Eon disappeared among the stars without a trace. Almost as if they had never existed, leaving only their descendants. Mm. Every life Dan Hung, is that you? Limit. Even the eons are not truly immortal and will eventually reach the end of their lives. Is an eon in that coffin? Why is, why he why did he turn to the coffin? Uh, let me ask you one more question. Do you know the person in the coffin? <laughs> yes. Friend? No. So, uh, a sweetheart? <laughs> oh, miss, whatever gave you that impression? The individual in the coffin is neither friend nor relative. We met only once. I like his suit, though. By chance, I made someone a promise, and so I have to run this errand. Let's leave it at that, shall we? I think we've all had enough rest. Well, I thought Dan Hung was tall. But he's not. He's actually short. <clears throat> oh, we're not done with this quest yet. I thought talking to Kafka was like the peak. <laughs> the climax of the quest. <laughs> oh, why was it going bad? Why was Kafka on screen? It's so unfair. Let's charge in together. If we take them out quickly, we can rescue the girl. <laughs> what happened to us letting you handle it? I've only got two hands. Please. I'll... Enough. Let's go. <laughs> Let me through. Whoa. Why Dan Hung speak like that? The truth of life and death. Miss, are you okay? What do you think? Uh, sorry, I, I didn't see any blood, so I, I thought you were okay. My motor is broken. It's a puppet? You are Cloud Knight. I, uh. Locha, Silent the Deadly. <laughs> is this Silent our name now? Again. This lady is one of the judges of the Ten Lords Commission. I'm sorry. If I'd known, I wouldn't have got you to come with me. You'd probably be there by now if you'd gone by yourself. I happen to have some medical knowledge. 
Perhaps I can treat the young lady's injuries? Oh, it's just... she's a puppet. I think we should just take her to the Realm Keeping Commission. Don't worry, Miss Sushan. Leave it to me. Huh? You might get an aching or numbing sensation, but it shouldn't be too painful. Do you think you can hold still? That's interesting. Is that Catherine? It won't work. My body is mechanical, not flesh and blood. Be it mechanical or organic, we're still dealing with composite substances. I just hope you'll tolerate my methods. <sighs> Curious. How... What kind of medical knowledge is this? He is so tall. Abundance. Hmm. Hmm. Very good. We uh, no longer need to return to the Realm Keeping Commission. The mission continues. As a judge in the employ of the Ten Lords Commission, I am forbidden from interfering in the affairs of outsiders. However, seeing as you came to my aid, a word of advice. Leave as soon as possible. I came to address the root of our crisis by arresting a fugitive, a Stellaron hunter. This villain possesses exceptional swordsmanship and wields a divine weapon. They are extremely dangerous. Mmm. Oh, Blady. He's here. If it for a strange accident, my <clears throat> wingspan might have been cut short. Strange accident? Come with me. Who is that? I've never seen anything like it. You know, <gasps> even eons can be killed. She's back. <laughs> <laughs> the sound is okay. <laughs> is there more to the dialogue, please? Is there more to the dialogue, please? <sighs> How could an eon possibly be killed? Is it so unthinkable? There are many stories about fallen eons. Lon the Permanence, Adrilla the Beauty, Anna the Order, Tazerant the Propagation, Akivili the Trailblaze. Hmm. These names were once known all over the universe. Now they've all but disappeared, leaving behind only masterless paths. Yeah, I think my computer has calmed down a little bit. Following how I've come down a little bit from seeing all those men on screen. <laughs> so now computer is normal with the, with the sound. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just gonna, don't mind me. Don't mind me if I do. I cannot, she looks so... Pure. She looks so soft. It's the contrast between her look and what she's talking about. Like, we are murdering an eon. <laughs> she looks like this. Crazy. Currently, oh no, it's broken again. Three ways no way. You're kidding me! Why is choppy again? No way! <laughs> no! Oh my god! This cannot be real! The broader path will engulf the narrower one. Unbelievable! No. <laughs> I sheep ate a harmony. 
<sighs> Please. Two. In a war between oh, God. the Eons, the stronger side will annihilate the weaker one. <laughs> no. Under the guidance of the hunt, the Cienjo Alliance tra travels the universe exterminating abominations cultivated by the, the abundant. <sighs> Unbelievable. So, the Cienjo too are engaged in this process. I don't even know what she said just now. <laughs> Where does the Shenzhou want to kill the abundance? I guess it's a question to ask. Uh, as far, far as I know, the predecessors of the alliance were the elixir seekers. They searched for Yasha <sighs> and longed for the blessing of immortality. When they eventually found the Eon, they received the blessing that did indeed prevent death. The, the Ambrosial Arbor. But immortality turned out to be a curse for the Sea and Joe. That's when the hunt appeared, firing an arrow and felling the ambrosial arbor ever since the alliance has followed the hunt in pursuit of yaush erasing the curse of immortality from the universe along the way i don't think any pc is expensive enough to be able to handle kafka's presence I'm so sad. I changed the English voice over just to hear Kafka. Oh my god, this game is a clown. It's clowning me. Unbelievable. Quick, put those men back on screen and then switch back to Kafka real quick. <sighs> What do you think? Fascinating story, is no? Yeah, very fascinating how my computer is dying because of you. I don't get it. They're the kind of stories that, that folks on the straight and narrow would never tell you. Why are you telling me this? Reading my computer along the way. Hold on. Any minute now. <laughs> it's begun. What's begun? Now the sound is okay. This game is really clowning me. <laughs> she can break free so easily. Let's go, Blady. Two more places to visit. <laughs> oh. Well, I'm just so grateful that 
the cuts and just now the sound was not so choppy <laughs> was actually okay insane if what she said is true we won't have to explain anything we're talking hey did she brainwash you oh my god that's so true ang escaping from his rope ties when he was in jail <laughs> He's not, he can break free any moment he want, but he's just like staying there. Okay, like you want to imprison me? Sure, I'll stay here. It's not like I can escape any moment. <laughs> oh my god. That's so true. We were brainwashed? Was that what happened? My PC was brainwashed, that's for sure. No, it's it's giving Phoebe a like cow she said, if we're in prison then you'll be my bitches. I'll be Kafka. Yeah. You know. Ting Yun. Is it gonna be choppy now? Of course not. Kafka is not here. How did it grow all of a sudden? Oh, amazing! Absolutely amazing! Whoa. Even the long-lived might not witness something like this in their lifetime. I'm so lucky. <laughs> Maybe someone applied a strong fertilizer. <laughs> Such extraordinary energy! It's the Stellaron. Mr. Yang, do you mean? Stellaron is making the Ambrosial Arbor grow? Yes. The Stellaron the Cloud Knights are searching for must be causing this anomaly. Oh, the Stellaron is... N oh? Oh, is that what happened? I thought when Kafka said there's a Stellaron outbreak in Lofu, it's like in one place. But it's actually escaping? That's that or not paying attention. Oh man, all the rest of it is just so bland in comparison to Kafka's appearance. <laughs> I'm so sorry for the rest of the crew. I sorry, I just will not be paying as much attention. We're gonna breeze through it. Unless Kafka deceived the Matrix of Prescience. She did it. calm, Divine Ofu. The Matrix of Prescience does not lie. The logic you have laid out concerning Kafka makes sense. It has helped me to fill in another piece of the puzzle. I agree there is a hostile external force at work on the Lofu. The Stellaron didn't appear out of thin air. Someone managed to sneak it onto the ship. As for the culprits behind the Lofu's internal strife, I believe we are dealing with the so-called Disciples of Sanctus Medicus, that shadowy organization of the denizens of abundance. Right, it'd be like that, right? You watch a movie once and then you watch it a second time and then you're like, oh, so that's why that happened. Makes sense. <laughs> Kafka's revelations confirm my suspicions. What suspicion? You... General, when did you have these suspicions? The moment the planter of the Stellaron revealed themselves. The Sienjo has the blessing of the Rainbow Arbiter. And only another Eon Emanator would be capable of sneaking onto this ship without my knowing. We are dealing with an external threat. The Stellaron corrosion continues to flood into oh, the ship. so pretty. And yet it bypassed both the seat of divine foresight and the shackling prison. There is forethought here. Our enemy must have had access to Lafu intelligence for things to unfold in this way. It is evident now. This guy is just like Sino. A police detective or something. 
The Stellaron hunters aren't the ones behind the curtain. No. As soon as I set eyes on Blade, it was clear to me. But why is he here? And why did he draw the Astral Express? <laughs> that piece of the puzzle still eludes me. Nevertheless, Lady Fu, your intel means the puzzle is more complete than it was before. <laughs> These Stellaron hunters are a captivating group. Such lengths to get the Sienjo and the Express onto the same track. <laughs> Who would have believed it? Mm. General, we must retain all urgency. The Ambrosial Arbor. It's the Stellaron. No need to search high and low. The traitors have planted it in the Ambrosial Arbor's dome, thereby causing the tree to grow once again. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus couldn't hold off any longer. Every crisis is a turning point. A problem is easier to resolve when you know where it lies. Am I coming up with a plan again? <laughs> of course. I'm sure you have a countermeasure at the ready, Master Diviner. He's just staring at her. Convening the Cloud Knights is our immediate priority. We must head into the root. That's all that he does, isn't it? I'm just gonna be complimenting these people so that I'm empowering them to do their best work. That's what I do here. Jingyuan, 2023. Mm, as ever, the Master Diviner's Amisha provides for the fastest solution. However, sometimes speed is not everything. I have known the Stellaron's location for a while now. So why have I held back our forces? General? Well... You're a scoundrel. <laughs> <laughs> Pulling up the ground <laughs> requires removing the roots. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus have chosen to make their move now. Which means the Cloud Knights have the situation under control and the traitors have run out of patience. Now is the time to capture them all in one fell swoop. You've been sitting on that this whole time? How will you justify the losses if something goes wrong, General? These people are like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna be, you know, willingly be arrested because that's part of the plan. Then Jing Yuan is like, oh yeah, I'm also willingly arrest you because that's also part of the plan. <laughs> what are they playing at? Please, Lady Fu, I still have forces to deploy. We were in need of extra hands. And the Stellaron hunters were kind enough to bring us together with the Astral Express. How could I look the other way? That's a different subtitle. <clears throat> Let me guess, more errands? Uh, the general's smiling again. Definitely errands. It's my fault. I had higher expectations of the general. Please, we can't keep getting them to do everything for us. Since when did we run out of people on the law foo? <laughs> That's exactly what they gotta do, right? They have to balance out the dark story with the humor. <laughs> if you're if you're laughing nonstop, then you may forgot that it's actually a very dark story. You why are you staring at me? They're literally plotting to kill a god. Do I need to remind you, General, that the Ambrosial Arbor's access point was a closely guarded secret? Or that's what I gathered Allowing from the choppy be... dialogues with Kafka? I don't know. A violation of the rules and regulations. I would like to remind you, Lady Fu, that the Sienjo comes before its rules and regulations, all the more so in times of crisis. As such, I am about to make a decision that runs counter to those rules and regulations. Oh, uh, decisions plural. <laughs> what a rare pleasure. Lady Fu, I hereby issue you with the military tally. The Cloud Knights will be under your control. 
You will act in concert with the other forces in the approach to the Ambrosial Arbor through the Alchemy Commission Dell. Under my control? No, oh, no, he's 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 gonna make you do more work. No, don't accept it. You've been eager to discover for yourself what it is to be a general, have you not? You've never given me the opportunity, and now suddenly. <clears throat> Understood. As you wish. Hello, Deppy. Hello. Good evening, or good morning, or good day to you. As for our astral friends, I hereby formally welcome you all to join our operation to seal the Stellaron. Oh, now we're helping you to seal the Stellaron. I thought you didn't need our help. Jingwen is truly a manager, isn't he? <laughs> Just delegating work, empowering, empowering old employees to do their best work. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Lady Fu will deploy the Cloud Knights, but I would like you to set off in advance. Take a shortcut through the Artisanship Commission and convene with Lady Fu further down the line. The music is great, though. Payment, or we go on strike. Understood. Understood. Well enough. I know how to repay a favor. Oh, do you? A Sienjo has met with a dramatic chain of events, and each of you has chosen to stand by us. Your fearlessness moves me. Nevertheless, the enemy is upon us, and time is of the essence. Let us not allow monetary affairs to cast a shadow over more pressing matters. <laughs> well, that's really if you translate that to corporate world, that's really like it's not it's not about the pay, it's not about your salary, it's about the opportunity to grow, the opportunity for more exposure, for more experience, to learn something new out of your scope. No, you're just understaffing and you don't want to pay us. <laughs> Time is of essence. Let us not allow monetary affairs to cast a shadow. <laughs> He's full of bullshit. <laughs> Once catastrophe has been averted, we shall discuss this in greater detail. Uh huh. You sure? Miss Tingyun, I would like you to continue to serve as a guide for our astral friends. Oh, of course, General. I am duty bound. Oh no, he bought Tingyun. He brought Tinyun to his side. <laughs> the opportunity. The exposure. Exactly. Jingyuan is a true manager. He he will succeed as a manager in the corporate world. Insane. His team will thrive with such low pay and everything. Hey you, scammer. Jason to the Ambrosial Arbor Seal. I'd like you to investigate these places. Aren't you happy about the resurrection? As outsiders, you are unfamiliar with the history of the Sienjo. I cannot blame you for asking a question like this. Let me tell you a story. Oh, do I want to hear a story? I don't think so. Long ago. Oh no. Before the Sienjo. Oh no, he's stop, telling a story. Our ancestors lived. On the surface of a planet. Like all of you, the Sienjo oh. people at that time were a mortal species with a lifespan of fewer than 100 years. There was a time right. when the ruling emperor could not bear his temporary existence or the thought of his life's achievements being lost to another after his death. He became fixated on acquiring an elixir of immortality and focused his power on constructing a fleet of nine ships. These ships would voyage into deep space, where traces of gods were rumored to exist. Did he succeed? <laughs> Marge asking the question like a child being put to bed and his dad is like, you know, telling bedtime story. Did he succeed, daddy? <laughs> He succeeded because, after an arduous journey, the nine ships eventually witnessed the manifestation of a god. 
Gao Shou's appearance provided for all manner of unfathomable celestial blessing. <clears throat> However, he failed because the fleet has been lost ever since and has never been able to return to its home planet. That doesn't sound so bad. The Sienjo people went on a great adventure and got what they wanted in the end. Right? Oh? Our ancestors once thought so too, but the miracle of longevity was nothing more than a vain dream. Take the La Fu, for example. Immortality seemed like a beautiful thing. But what followed was population expansion and diminishing resources. In the struggle for survival, the immortals lost their humanity and degenerated into mere beasts. After paying the price with blood and tears, the Lafu people finally understood that immortality was not a free blessing, but the beginning of a cruel ordeal. In the eras that followed, other beings that had likewise received Yao Shi's blessings repeatedly attacked the Xianzhou in an attempt to take the sacred artifact as their own. Countless atrocities were committed as a result. Mm. Many Xianzhou comrades who were lucky enough to survive the wars became stricken with Mara, a condition that immortals are susceptible to. Had it not been for the enlightenment and protection of the Rainbow Arbiter, the Xianzhou alliance you see today would never have existed. At this point in the story, I assume you understand the disasters that the resurrection of the Ambrosial Arbor might bring about? I'm so bad, I still don't understand why it's bad. <laughs> the tree was resurrected. Is it because it's related to Yao Shi? Hmm. You said there were traitors inside the Lofu. Of years have passed since the Rainbow Arbiter fell to the Ambrosial Arbor. Most in the Sienjo regard the Arbor as nothing more than the stump of a dead tree. Only those familiar with our history and the ancient texts know of its origin. Our ancestors placed the stump in full view of the people precisely to make it seem unimportant. But in fact, they sealed it behind layers upon layers of delf enchantment. Even if one travels toward the Ambrosial Arbor, one will never reach it. Someone brought a Stellaron into the Sienjo and planted it among the roots of the Ambrosial Arbor. They wish to resurrect it and achieve their hidden goal through external aggression. In my opinion, the force that provided the Stellaron and the force that activated it have different objectives. Mm. Okay, so what is the tree exactly? It's an ancient artifact that was planted on the Sienjo Lafu by Yaosha, mm -hmm. the Eon of Abundance. It has the power to shape life and subdue death at will. The ancestors of the Lofu people consumed the fruits of the Ambrosial Arbor and gained endless lifespans, thus becoming long-life species. Oh, sounds like an amazing treasure. Should have yes. chosen that first to understand the context. Also the bane of everything to come. <clears throat> okay, bye. Shen to open a shortcut to the Divination Commission for you. What is it? Where, where this little kid gonna give us daily commission? Ting Yun Hai. If anything for us. I thought I might be relieved of my guiding duties once the divination commission affair was over. Who would have thought the general would take such a liking to you? I suppose I must accompany you further. Fates can be so unpredictable. Oh no. Through thick and thin, we're like two peas in a dangerous pot. You have quite the 
sense of humor, benefactors. I've encountered more trouble with you than I have with the merchant fleet in ten years. She sounds different again. I just hope everything is smooth sailing from now on. This could be... Everything is smooth sailing from now on. Please look after me. You really cannot fight? Really? This could be your moment to shine for the Sky Faring Commission. Get that promotion, girl. And members of the Six Commission should stand united. You did save my life at Cloudford. Consider this my returning the favor. Are you afraid of the danger, Miss Tingyun? The general said there are traitors aboard the ship. But only someone from the Six Commissions could bring the Stellaron into the Sienjo undetected. Let alone plant it within the Ambrosial Arbor. Out of the people that we've met so far, including Su Sheng, the puppet, and Lo Cha, the most sus. At first, I thought it was Jing Yuan, <laughs> but turns out he's just a very. What's the word? Corporate ish leader it's just a manager basically i would say it's locha i would say it's locha but also i find it kind of weird that ting yun was very what's the word wasn't she like saying something along the lines of like maybe she'll get a promotion if she assists us with something, but then the moment, what's her name? The 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 lady boss, the green lady boss, assigned her to be our tour guide. She was like, "Oh no, why am I being your tour guide?" I don't know. That just weird to me. Lucha is very weird with the, with the coffin. The puppet. We don't know much. I don't know much about her so far. Not really. Hmm. Yeah, Yu Kong, that's her name. Oh my god. I love her voice too. Yeah. Something weird about Ting Yun's hesitance to assist us. Something sus about a guy walking around with a coffin. Hmm. Yeah, I I'm I'm taking away my suspicion card on Jing Yuan. He's just a manager who wants to take advantage of the subordinates. <laughs> but only someone from the six commissions could bring the Stellaron into Shanzhou undetected, let alone plant it within the Ambrose. Hmm. You mean the master diviner? I'm saying nothing of the sorts. Just raising a doubt, that's all. Please be careful, benefactors. Right. You want to leave straight away? <coughs> Excuse me. Things. I'll be right there. Oh my god, I left too much. Or was it the cough that finally got to me? Everybody in the office has been coughing lately and they they don't even better like they they're not even wearing mask at all they're just coughing <laughs> on the desk <laughs> like like it's not something contagious that people are gonna cut so i guess i'm i'm catching the cough from the people who else ching chue ching chue hello Ooh, that was scary. wow she's so tiny even what you just saw, you don't seem rattled at all. Be fine. Even if the sky collapses, we have the master diviner with us to hold it up. Oh, and now we have the general here too. 
What do subordinates like us have to panic about? <laughs> Just bring out the big events. That's the secret to happiness. <laughs> so real. That's so true. You don't have to worry about a thing. All the big guys can take care of it. But they're, they're gonna assign us to do some errands. They're gonna tell us to do some things for them. Yeah, didn't the master diviner give you any work to do? She did. She saw me on her way over. She told me to go to the repository and read up on anything related to the Ambrosial Arbor. A simple task like that is only 15 minutes work for me. No. Oh, okay. I heard people say Very efficient. The general has to watch his manners when asking you for help. Pretty impressive. I don't have much to offer you. Uh, here, take this book. It's the thought that counts. We've got to get I going. I'm gonna wait for the master diviner to get off work so I can show you around and teach Mr. Yang how to play Celestial Jade. Your kindness is much appreciated, Miss Chingchu. As for Celestial Jade, we'll have to leave it for next time. We don't have time to play my own I know, girl. I know you've got an important task ahead. Sorry to keep you. Priorities are priorities. Well then, get back safely. Remember to come find me in Exalting Sanctum. All right. Inquiry into the gods. Introduction. Hmm, we're gonna read that up for sure. Uh, nobody else is here. Metrics manager. Hmm. Okay, hi, hello. I'm ready to go. A step forward bridges no distance hence. Uh, the hexagram was right. The ambrosial arbor was felled thousands of years ago. Now it returns to life. The future of the Sien Zhou is difficult to define. I'm sorry, Kafka escape. I had long anticipated it. Huh? She's not angry? Uh, is there anyone that's <laughs> two steps ahead of us around here? Exactly. Of of the Matrix of Prescience informed me of her innocence. Our priority is the Ambrosial Arbor. Mm. Are you leading forces into the Alchemy Commission? From the time the Stellaron corrosion began to spread until now. The only reports we've received the is three step behind. Oh, behind. oh no. <laughs> She's too relaxed. The She's busy playing Ma Yong, that's why. Research and production take place. However, due to its proximity to the Ambrosial Arbor seal, I'm afraid the Stellaron spirits may have plunged it into a deeper crisis than we first feared. To make matters worse, the general suspects there are traitors in the Alchemy Commission. Self-proclaimed disciples of Sanctus Medicus have been plotting this for a long time. And now they're using the location to their advantage. I must take action as soon as possible. The general wants us to go to the Artisanship Commission. He really is a delegator at heart, isn't he? There isn't much distance between the <laughs> Delegator at heart. <laughs> she knows. I'm afraid the former is likely also facing imminent catastrophe. <clears throat> The star skiff is ready. I will lead the way. It's just running. Girl, wait up. One zero one zero one. Who is that counting binary? One zero one zero one zero. I still have important tasks from the general to attend to. Go carefully, all of you. Uh, wait, wait! Master Diviner! Can you... Divine our fortunes for us? Is there anything we need to watch out for? No need. My Omnisha has seen that your journey will be auspicious. Everything will proceed smoothly. Uh, are you sure? You don't need to use a crazy device or do more finger counting? I'm sure it's nothing we can manage. Let's go. Well said. Thank you for your assurance, Master Diviner. Onward. We're just leaving? I guess we're just leaving. <clears throat> Wait, is that finished yet or is it a new one? <laughs> is it the new submission? 
Citizenship Commission Delve should have suspended operations after the Stellaron corrosion began. Why haven't these people taken Star's gifts to safety? Maybe the Artisanship Commission are just more dedicated to their work? The Divination Commission's diviners aren't exactly a hard act to follow. At the end of the day, work is work. You need it to live. You know, March, adults forget what relaxation means after a certain age. <laughs> Sounds like you're speaking from experience. <laughs> Just speaking from the heart, that's all. He really sounds like a dad. We're really traveling with a dad here. Maybe they're here to welcome us? Because we're so famous. That's it! First you arrive out of the blue, then the general recruits you to the cause. It's like the stories where Imperial heroes bring salvation to the world. Still, it doesn't look like they're rolling out the red carpet. We might be getting ahead of ourselves. What is it about the the next boss? <laughs> I don't know who that be, but it seems like it's pretty hard, huh? I don't have a team built for anything. The Artisanship Commission is full of workshops. Building state-of-the-art mechanisms and craftsmen designing brand new concepts. Periodically stirring up trouble is part of their tradition. Entire buildings vanishing into thin air, puppet riots. You get the picture. It seems like the craftsmen are too afraid to go in, but they have nowhere to run to either. We should take care, benefactors. Something terrible must have happened. Either way, we'll have to go in. Let's ask around first. Mm. <clears throat> Wait, that's not the end of it yet. Humming antlers. Wait. I actually almost finished this. Hmm. I see. No wonder it's very long. Now a new quest, really? Hmm. Is it? Several. Is it the boss that was previewed on the live stream last time? The giant lady with who was like just chilling. Hmm. <laughs> I see. But why is it still? It's still part of the quest that was available in 1.0 oh different one i see okay 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 it's still so long to get there how long is the quest <laughs> how long is this quest there's this uh what's the word there's the there is this event that is like locked behind the mission, right? It's the mission from 1.2. <laughs> it's very annoying because there's only 12 days left to this event. No, it's not that long. Hmm. I guess I gotta find... No, not this lady. Not her. A different boss. Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm just... Because I don't know anything. I just googled and... 
according to the the star of fandom wiki does this humming antlers is actually the last part of this windswept wanderlust what you guys are saying is is pretty long after this oh we got one from here i need that Eh. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Kafka. No, Kafka. Bring Kafka back. All right. I think I think I will stop here for the for the mission for today. It's been how many hours it's been? I don't even know how many hours it's been. 4 hours. <laughs> I've been here for four hours with you guys. That's insane. Oh god, Discord, you're right. Oh, that's still... That's... That doesn't exist yet, still. I got caught up with real life things. Oh, uh, I should... I should find a day to actually do it. But is is it a lot of work though setting up setting up Discord and making it link to YouTube and all that stuff? Or is it like a one day work? Wow, I got four hundred jet stellar from just the the mission just now. That's pretty cool. Let's convert all of them. How do I exchange? Nice. Yeah, for this week, um, hopefully I can get get through the schedule just fine. I think it will be okay. Today it was it was a bit uh, I was clutching a little bit with the time because I was actually required to be at the office. <laughs> and yeah, but but Thursday same time. I think oh, I should not go there. Thursday same time. Mm -mm. Yeah, I I do have a Discord account, but that's about it. I join Discord servers of other people and like it looks it looks so fancy. They have all this room that is like some is like automated, like fetching information from Twitter, information from YouTube. That's like that's so fancy. I need to learn how to do that. <laughs> this is gonna take a while. I'll, I'll take my time to do it. But which yeah, but eventually if it's ever gonna happen then I will post a link. No way my server has better artifacts than your silver wolf. There's no way. What do you mean? These are like trash. Mmm I did get this from from SU the other day though. But they're bad. What do you mean? It's not purple. <laughs> what are these? So many things to learn about Honkai Star Rail. I don't know. Right. I can do that. How do I find friends again? Oh, here. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> that's what you mean by mine is better. It's all purple and blue. I see. Oh, what is this? Quantum damage by 10%. Wait, it looks very nice. The color, yellow and black. There's no way, guys. There's no way. I barely farm artifacts. 
it's only today that I unlock the what's the word the calyx for Star Wars artifacts, the lightning damage relics. It's only today because I only started this quest today, this mission. There's no way. Come on, let's be realistic. I can barely kill Jepard in Simulated Universe Three. <laughs> There's no way. I, I keep coming, I keep going back there. I should not. Yeah, but uh, Thursday, Thursday the plan is actually to get Kaya skin. So I'm gonna stop with the Honkai Star Rail first. Because that island is gonna disappear in like <laughs> three weeks. We gotta grind, guys. We gotta grind for, for the limited island that's gonna disappear. Hopefully, Star Rail next week, I think. Same day, Tuesday. We'll see about that. But yeah, if you guys want to join, I'll be also streaming Thursday, same time, 7.30pm, 7, 7 Jakarta time. Yeah. Oh, you haven't finished the World 2? Well, good luck. Good luck, good luck. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. But yeah, Thursday, same time if you guys want to join me. I had fun today doing the quest. <laughs> and my computer dying whenever Kafka showed up on screen. Unbelievable. That You cannot make that up. You cannot make that up. I'm, I'm a bit sad that that happened. But that's actually really funny. I guess I will have to look up YouTube and and rewatch uh, the like a quest recap from a channel with English Kafka so that I can so that I can enjoy it again <laughs> without the choppy sound like just now. Yeah. Thank you guys for joining me. Thanks a lot. It means a lot, uh, actually, yeah. Because now uh, I've gave it, I've given up trying to edit the playthrough and upload videos of it. I thought I'm just gonna play the quest, you know, in a live stream. Because otherwise, I will have a backlog of stories that I don't do, just because I I gotta wait to record it. I've given up on that part, and now we're just gonna, you know, doing it like freestyle on a live stream and hang out yeah thank you you for joining me thank you thank you thank you Irina sama thank you Mera. thank you bepro did i think she she already went to sleep or something thank you tepi thank you you thank you alex thank you baby baby alex what time is it right now for you wait Oh, it's, it's just barely evening, huh? Yeah, thank you. Thank you, everyone, for joining me. Thank you so much. I'll see you. I'll see you Thursday on Genshin on the Limited Summer Island. Okay. Bye-bye, guys. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. See ya. Yeah, to you too. For everyone whose night time is about to go to sleep, have a good night. Everybody who's about to start their day, have a good morning or have a good day. Or have a good evening. Bye-bye.